Howdy, everybody. Oh my goodness. I just realized how grown my facial hair is today. <laughs> Welcome back to the stream. How you guys doing? We're going to be trying out a new game today that I am very, very excited for. One that you guys actually recommended in uh, the latest few streams. Maybe we're going to be doing some other stuff after. I am starting a little bit earlier than usual, so... We'll see how my streamer endurance lasts. I believe we should be live on YouTube now as well. What is up, my YouTube people? <laughs> and I got a new chat, which you guys might be able to see. I was testing that out earlier. I think it looks a lot cleaner. You can see who's from what stream. So welcome, everybody. I can also, I think it should show if anybody donates or subscribes and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure... It should pop up. So, hope everybody is excited. I definitely am. I see a lot of people typing in the YouTube chat, so I'm pretty sure I'm live, but for some reason I don't see it on my end. Let me just confirm real quick that we are in fact live and we'll get into... Oh, yep, I heard myself double. <laughs> so yeah, we are most definitely live. What's up, Dano? Welcome back. Boosty, Frosted Beach, Eleanor. Chu, Zephar, Lord Flea, Marius, Marius, hello. Have you seen the emulator on iPhone? Oh, dude. This thing has been all over my Twitter recently. I actually have an Android, so I've had emulator for forever. But my wife, Keren, just downloaded the iPhone emulator. And yeah, I've been seeing it everywhere, dude. It's kind of crazy that you can play even like up to Nintendo DS, I believe. Like, I thought it was just going to be GBA and older games. Uh, but, you know, I got mine on Android that I've had for a while. I've actually been slowly playing through Pokemon Black 2. Or, sorry, Black 1. Blaze Black. Sorry. Uh, I'm at the Pokemon League right now. You know, us on Android, we stay blessed. But, uh, for you guys on iPhone, congratulations. You can finally play all your favorite games. What's up, Purple Leafy? What's up, Jai? Technopunk, hello. Mary Sue, DJW, Melanie, Seagull Nuggets. <laughs> you guys got some awesome games. Or awesome names. Sorry, did I say games? <laughs> What's up, Berkeley? Welcome back, dude. Android on top. That's right. Goated user, goated operating system. I was about to say iOS, but that's literally what the Apple one is called. What's up, Guzman? I really like how this chat looks, by the way. I don't know if it's just me. I mean, I feel like I could make it a little bit bigger. Let me see if I can... I believe there is a way to zoom it in more. If I do... This, maybe? Does this make it bigger, actually? Eh, not really. Oh, wait, I think I have to turn this one down. Height. And that should make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, there we go. Is that too big now? I think that's all right. I can see the messages a little bit clearer. But yeah, it's called Delta, if anybody's curious and you want to download it. It's literally the top app on the iPhone, whatever the App Store is called. I think it's literally just App Store. Uh, but in terms of getting the games, that's a little more complicated, of course. You know, you guys got to figure that out for yourselves. What's up, Jeffrey? Modding on both chats now. Good luck, Boost. <laughs> I do definitely need to get some more mods on the YouTube stream. But I appreciate you guys that are holding the fort down. Danomatic, Boostio. You guys absolutely coming in clutch. Modding both streams usually. Um, maybe I'll do like a mod application thing on Discord later this week. Because yeah, I definitely plan on streaming both YouTube and Twitch. Maybe not every single stream, but... Yo, Cricket, come on, bro. You're gonna have to make me turn on slow mode? SMH shaking my head. Bro, <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. This is bad. <laughs> or woman or boy. I don't, I don't know. What's up, Jessica? Really doesn't feel like I've been watching you for 10 years. It doesn't feel like I've been on YouTube for 10 years. I'll be honest. Feels like I've been on here for 30. I had to, you know, switch it up on you. 
But like I said, today we're going to be checking out Poke Rogue, which if you guys don't know, is a new browser based game. So you don't actually need emulator or ROMs or anything like that. You literally just play it on Google Chrome or whatever browser you use. Uh, you can even play it on your phone if you just go to pokerogue.net. So as far as like accessibility, pretty nutty. Uh, and as far as gameplay, I've heard a lot of good things about this game. I'm really excited to try it out. And I guess when I do start playing, which I'm setting it up right now, I'll explain a little bit more about the game itself. Um, but let me just real quick, just put this. And I believe we should be Gucci, I hope. Hey, look at that. I love it when things work. Except for the chat is overlaying the game. I don't know if I should have chat during this segment, to be honest. Maybe I can put you guys like up here or something. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. When we actually start playing the game, we'll see if it's good to have chat there or not. If not, maybe I'll disable it. But for right now, I'll keep you guys there. What's up, Sha? So cool. Welcome back, dude. Glad to see you streaming on my day off. Hey, that's lucky. I got lucky for sure. It is Friday. Um, so I'm guessing a lot of people, hopefully, if you guys are in school or work, maybe as people start getting off of work, you know, the weekend has started. I'm hoping uh, some people, some more people than usual can join in. And maybe some Europeans too. Hey, if you're European, let me know in the chat. Or Australian or Japanese. Or I guess maybe Southeast Asian in general. I know I got a lot of Filipino viewers out there. If you're a Filipino, uh, I forgot how to say hi. ¿Qué tal? I think it's similar to Spanish actually. I'm seeing Bad Bunny tonight. Yo, that's awesome. I actually missed out on seeing Bad Bunny in Chicago. His uh, concert was here a couple weeks ago. But, I mean, I saw him literally three times last year. So I figured it's okay to skip out on one Bad Bunny concert. <laughs> and honestly, the new album, I, I, I dig it. But I, I saw some of the clips of the live performance. And I don't know. But I hope you enjoy. Portugal here. Yo, let's go. Filipino language has a lot of Spanish words. Yeah, that's what I've heard. I saw this YouTube video of like Filipino compared with Spanish. There's a lot of shared words for sure. What's up, Dantanian? Welcome, dude. Sweden, let's go, Eleanor. Got some more Europeans. Ludwig, hello. Kelly Kaland. And the Canadian gang. Can't forget about my Canadians, my Canucks. Is that what you guys... Do, do, do people in Canada actually call Canadians Canucks? <laughs> I hope that's not like a... <laughs> A bad term to use. Okay, I guess not. Thank you, Purple Leafy. Australia in here too. Aussie Aussie. We got people from all over the world, which is awesome, man. The internet is a wonderful place for connecting us all this way. Anyway, let's get into some Pokey Rogue. I think the chat should be good up there, hopefully. Actually, I'm gonna just vibe to this song. Once this song ends, then we'll start playing. Cause this is this is a banger. What is this actually? It sounds like Mystery Dungeon. It's called Mysterious World. Yeah, even Pamu agrees. I just saw the comment. The music. What's up, Pokey Zealot? Oh, there we go. <laughs> it was a short one. Short but peak, honestly. Yo, hello from Greece. You got some Greeks in here? I've been learning a lot more about Greece recently because I have a Greek friend um, that I've been hanging out with. He's been teaching me a little bit. But anyway. Welcome to Pokey Rogue. This is a battle-focused Pokemon fan game with roguelike elements. This game is not monetized and we claim no ownership of Pokemon. Ooh, gotta put that disclaimer in there, of course. It's a work in progress, but fully playable. For bug reports, please use the Discord community. If the game runs slowly, please ensure hardware acceleration is turned on. Save data could not be found. I'm gonna go with the boy. Yo. The game has its own music too? That's dope. I mean, I guess I should have figured, but I didn't know. Love from Nigeria? 
Got some Nigerians in here too? That's awesome, dude. I am from an island named Curacao. Or is it Curacao? I think I've heard of that actually. I don't know exactly where it is, but shout out to you. Mr. Maz, what's up? And of course, the India boys. Always gotta shout out the India boys. You guys are probably my third biggest viewer demographic after US and Canada. I mean, there's a lot of Indians out there, so it makes sense. <laughs> I like that leaderboard. Yeah, I can move the camera a little bit, but... As far as I know, this game has like... Well, yeah, you can see the ranking there. Um, I don't know exactly what wave means, because I thought there was 200 levels. Yeah, I wonder if I can see Hoodlum Scrafty on here. Or sorry, Hoodlum Callum, who's actually the one that showed me this game. So, shout out to Callum for opening my eyes to Pokey Rogue. I actually watched his recent video, which I'm going to give the quick shout out here. Uh, if you guys want some tips on this game, definitely check out his channel. Hoodlum Callum. I saw this video of his, tips that'll become help you become pro. And then I saw his original one, I didn't finish it, but... This one, I watched all the way through, so hopefully that'll help me at least know a little bit more about this game. Uh, so if you guys haven't subbed to Callum, definitely go check out his channel. He makes some banger content. Wait, I just, I forgot, is this the music in Pokey Rogue? I'm pretty sure it is, right? We need Munchat first. Alright, we'll see. It's 50 rounds for daily and 200 for classic. Okay. Once we start the game, I'll figure out where I can put chat. Because honestly, I don't know if that's going to cover anything. What happens if Dano's having a little nap and you start streaming? Then we screwed, bro. We're screwed. <laughs> hey, yo, we got a prediction going? Why isn't it on the screen? I don't even see it. Huh? I don't know where it went, but I'm pretty sure we have a prediction going. Oh, that sucks. I have a thing where you can like see it on screen what people are predicting, but for some reason it's not showing up. Okay, that's chat. The rankings disappear once you start battling. After that, the left side of the screen is safe. Yeah, I, where I put my camera is perfect. I got that from Callum as well. I noticed that's where he puts his camera. Maybe I'll put my chat like over myself then once the game starts, but right now it's it's good right there, I think. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out why this prediction thing isn't working. Kind of weird. But if you guys are watching on Twitch, you can uh, vote. How many floors will we reach? Oh, I think I know why. It's because there's three options. If there's more than two options, uh, the overlay doesn't work. You're going to waste so much time in this game. Dude, that's why I'm like low-key like <laughs> hesitating to start because I know once we do, I'm going to be locked in. Absolutely. So yeah, I guess even though it doesn't show on screen, um, if you guys want to predict how many floors will we reach? 1 to 100, 150, or one, one, 100 to 150, or 150 plus. You guys on YouTube can also predict if you want. Just type it in the chat right now. Because it is finally time, guys. Let's begin. From this screen, you can select your starter. These are your initial party members. Each starter has a value. Your party can have up to six members as long as the total does not exceed 10. You can also select gender, ability, and form depending on the variants you've caught or hatched. The IVs for species are also the best of every one you've caught. Okay. If we don't help, 100%, he loses wave 25. Look, this is going to be literally my first time trying, so I don't expect to make it very far, but we'll see. Uh, one thing I do want to do is let me know if the music is too loud. I think it should be fine, but I know that we can change that. Um, we can put the game speed. Should we just do one time or keep it two? I guess we can also play our own music. Music sounds good. All right, I'll keep it up then. Cool. Uh, and then I saw there's window type. I like the orange one. You, you guys know why. 
Definitely got to keep the tutorials on. I think I might make my game a little smaller too. Just because right now it's a little bit... There we go. There we go. Okay, that's much better. <laughs> well, for you guys it looks the same, but, you know. Wonder what kind of game this is. Ooh, you're in for a fun time, Edis. It is called Pokey Rogue, and yo! Omar Watt! Thank you for the sub, homie. It did not actually show up in the chat, but I can see it in my dashboard. Thank you for the sub, and welcome to the Munchy Bunch. Appreciate the support. If you guys would like to support me as well, you can subscribe on Twitch. Or, uh, drop a like on the YouTube video. You know, it's free. Well, that one's free. Subscribing on Twitch actually gives me monies. <laughs> but, I mean, there's also Super Chat. Um... What else? What else? Should we put Prioritize Animation? That means if there is an animated sprite, I'm guessing it's gonna put that one. Which, like, I would love to see some animated sprites. Enable retries, move animations, EXP gain speed. Maybe we should put this faster, fast. I mean, it's our first time playing, so I don't want to like miss stuff. Fusion palette. There's fusions in this game? Well, it's kind of crazy. There's a lot in this game. I forgot I have Prime. I don't use Twitch much. Well, thank you so much for using it on me, dude. I appreciate that a lot. Alright, now that we're in here, I think I can move the chat. Maybe like right here. Seems good. Maybe like under my camera. Seems like a good spot for it. I mean, it's kind of small, but... Actually, it might be too small. Maybe right like that. That looks good to me. Fuecoco is the best starter he has access to. Really? What makes Fuecoco so good? What's up, Anthony Smith? Welcome, dude. A Dado plays. Welcome. Alright. So as far as I know, because we just started the game, we only have access to the starter Pokemon. But you can choose your starter from any generation, all the way up to Paldea. Yo, Sprigatito sprites animated? Oh my god, they're all animated! Oh, that's so cool, dude. This is like one of the things I would love, or I just love about fan games. I was gonna say I would love for Pokemon to make an official game in 2D sprite style so we can see animated sprites for some of these Pokemon that have only ever been in 3D. But dude, fans are taking care of the business. Like, look at this. Sobble looks like an absolute unit. Scorbunny looks dapper as always. I love Grookey. I might have, you know, I'm actually thinking for the first run, I might do the ones that I put on the YouTube thumbnail. Which means Litten, Grookey, and Quaxly is my first run. I know someone said Fue Coco is probably the best, but for my first time playing this, I'm just going to go with whatever I, I want to go with, you know? We only get to pick three starters, um, but as you unlock more Pokemon, they cost less points, so you can see the 9 out of 10 right here. Certain Pokemon cost less, but the starters each cost 3. I think later on too, the, the starters can cost less if you like upgrade them. So basically the gist of the game is the more you play it, the stronger your Pokemon get. I mean, which is how Pokemon is, but it, you'll see when we actually get into it. LT Grey, Mojo, and RuPaul, that's right, we're picking starters that I've actually used in my playthroughs. Let's do it! First time in Pokey Rogue. And we got Wismer. I am intimidated by this game, even though Litten was the one that used Intimidate. <laughs> Yo, this runs so smooth, what the heck? Okay, actually I'm noticing now though that... Chat covers a little bit of the game itself, so let me move you guys up. 
Just give me a second to fix this. There we go. I think that should be perfect. Maybe top left. Well, there's going to be stuff in the top left, I'm pretty sure. Like the enemy HP bars. I try to place it in the spot that would be like less intrusive. I know top right. Sorry, top, top right over there has our money, which after every battle, we get some money and we can spend it on things like this. After every battle, you're given a choice of three random items. These range from consumables to Pokemon held items to passives. Most non-consumable items will stack in various ways. Some items will only show up if they can be used, such as evolution items. You can also transfer held items between Pokemon. Okay. You may purchase consumables and a larger variety will be available the further you go. Be sure to buy these before you pick your random item as it will progress to the next battle. Teach chilling water to- no, I don't want chilling water, what the heck? I mean, I- We do have Quaxly, but... No, I don't think I want this yet. The top items are from the shop. If you have money, you can buy as many as you want after each battle. Oh, okay, so the top three, you can buy as many as you want. So you can buy as many potions as we want, but the bottom three are free? We get to pick one of these three for free, I guess? Super Lure doubles the chances of encountering being a double battle. I did hear from Callum's video that lures early on are OP, or I guess maybe the most thing he would recommend. I feel like a real mod, modding for both platforms right now. <laughs> You're doing the Lord's work right now, Boosty. I don't know, I feel like maybe we should go Pokeball though, because we want to add more stuff to our team, no? But I, I gotta go with what my boy Callum recommend, you know? I'm guessing we're gonna have Pokeballs in the future. So I'm gonna go for the lure. Didn't seem to work out, because we got Poochiena. Oh! Okay, that's interesting. Our Intimidate doesn't kick in again. Definitely the main thing I gotta remember is to heal. Oh, there's another lure already. Oh yeah, the lure was a great ball too. You're right. But this time I think I'm gonna go Pokeballs. I mean, Litten could use some healing to be honest, but we can also just switch to one of our other starters. Go lure again. Stack the lures. Alright, alright, we'll keep stacking the lures. <laughs> okay, it's Venipede, thankfully, so we're actually fine. The other thing I don't know yet is, like, do your Pokemon get healed at any point for free? Like, is there Pokemon Center? Probably not. Ooh, we got Hyper Potion! Bro, I mean, we don't need this right now. It's, like, too early for this. <clears throat> I'm just gonna keep stacking the lures, I guess. Oh, after every 10th wave, you get healed. Awesome. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely need you guys' help. Um... I guess I'll keep in... No, we want to switch out Groupie just in case that Wurmple has, like, a bug move. But we'll keep in Litten even though he's getting lower and lower health. Just because he's got the Ember. Yes, you can get Shinies in this game, Pamu. And pa or Shinies actually have a utility. It's not just aesthetic. It doesn't, like, break the game or anything, but from what I've heard, it's, it's pretty cool. Yo, Rare Candy? Is Rare Candy worth it? You should have Pokeballs already, by the way. Bro, we stack in the lure. Look at this. We got a Super Lure and two Regulars. I feel like Rare Candy is definitely worth it. Oh, only for one Pokemon, though. I mean, F it. We're going to keep stacking our Litten. I'm trying to get Incineroar stat. And we got our first Trainer Battle. I'll show you how awesome my Pokemon are. Is that a pun? What is this man talking about? Awesome. Okay, this time we got the Intimidate off. Hopefully this Puchiena... Oh my god! Leaf Green! Thank you so much for the sub! Yo, Orange, I did it. I bought a real Pokemon Soul Silver. Okay, see, this is why I need to turn down the music, because I could not hear at all <laughs> Leaf Green's message. But he said, I bought a real Pokemon Soul Silver game cartridge. It cost $140. Oof. 
Welcome back to the Munchy Bunch, though. And I will say, as much as it hurts knowing the, the price, it's worth it in the long run, man. You have an amazing collectible now. Welcome back. Appreciate it. Yeah, I watched Hoodlum Callum's video, Gemma. I recommended it as well at the beginning of the stream. So I know a little bit about the game, but this is still my first time actually playing it. Which I feel like playing it is completely different than watching someone play it. But I mean, I feel like I'm not going to be at level 1 noob. We got Big Nugget! Oh my god! Callum did say stacking money is very good. So I feel like we should get the Big Nugget. Who turned off the lights? Should I turn off the lights? You want me to turn up? You don't you don't want to see me? <laughs> Should I just stream like this, guys? In the darkness? I'm going big nugget. Let's go. With the Poker Walker in full box is over 500. <laughs> you guys like this? Super mysterious. <laughs> You'll never know who I am. Nah, we're not gonna do that. Yo, I love how the music changes. That's awesome. Soundtrack in this game is banger so far. I thought I would have to play my own music, but I like this. Yeah, we're stacking the money right now. The only problem is Litten is at half health, so I think... Oh my god, I can't put in Grookey against two birds. Fletchling isn't even fire type yet either, so... I mean, I guess if we both target the Fletchling, I, I feel like it's more threatening than Talo. Oh my god, good thing that it didn't hit Litten. Oh, this is rough. Quaxi has Moxie? Yo! That's crazy. I didn't realize they all had their hidden ability. But also, we're slower than Talo, I think, so I hope it targets Quaxley. Please target Quaxley. <gasps> we burned it! Yo, we're fine! We're chilling! Let's go! Get another Moxie boost, too. I think that's it for this trainer. I didn't know we were going to get hidden abilities. Should I get low kick on Quaxley? Because he's going to become fighting type eventually. No, I need to heal right now, bro. I definitely need to heal. But it's only one Pokemon. I guess I'll go lit in full health. We still have Qua or Grookey at full health, too. Uh, so we'll keep Litten in. We'll keep Quaxley in. And we're just going to prioritize getting rid of that Talo so it doesn't peck us. Okay, it's actually just going focus energy for some reason. Yeah, I'm guessing it's going to learn better moves than low kick. That's why I didn't go for it anyway. But also, we needed the healing. The healing was definitely the priority right there. But if you do a trainer battle, it switches out, so stat boost are gone. Oh, I see. So wait, where do we see how many moxie boosts we have right now? We got a blue TM. I guess that means it's more rare? But honestly, I feel like we should... Maybe we should grab Pokeballs. I haven't gotten Pokeballs yet. Let's go Pokeballs. Oh? Okay, maybe I shouldn't have used Pokeballs. There you are! I've been looking everywhere for you! Did you forget to say your goodbye to your best friend? You're going after your dream, huh? That day is really today, isn't it? Anyway, I'll forgive you for forgetting me, but on one condition. You have to battle me. Give it your all. Wouldn't want your adventure to be over before it started, right? Yo, I like her design. With the glasses. Oh, thank goodness she's got a chest bin. We're gonna absolutely roll this thing with some ember. We got so many balls right now, dude. I didn't know that you started off with five. I love the sprites. Yo, same, Sunny. The sprites are awesome. I love that it's so animated. And we got Roar. I feel like that could be useful if we have an enemy that we don't like. We can just get it the heck on out of there, deal with it later. She got a what? Yo, look at this Wattrell sprite. That's so cool. All right, let's just keep going, Ember. And we're chilling, big chilling. Let's go. 
You just started and you're already this strong? You totally cheated, didn't you? Just kidding. <laughs> I lost fair and square. I have a feeling you're gonna do really well out there. By the way, the professor wanted me to give you some items. Do your best like always. She cute. I like her. Super EXP charm. And EXP all. What? Increases XP gain by 60%. And non-participating Pokemon get 20% of the XP. So does that mean the Pokemon that weren't battling earlier were not getting any XP? Oh yeah, Grookey's still at level 5, bro. Oh my god. Wait, what is this? Why am I choosing a Pokemon? Bro, am I about to kill Qua uh, Grookey? No, I I'm going to pick Litten. Just I don't even know what this is doing. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, it was a heal. Press back. Back out. Go back. Wait, what? What happened? What did I do wrong? I didn't know what I... I didn't know what I pressed. <laughs> I literally don't know what I just pushed. You missed a master rank item. Wow. Apparently, I got super lucky. And I didn't... I didn't grab it. Can I go back now? No, it's too late. <laughs> uh... Well, look, we've gotten very lucky so far, so maybe we'll get lucky again. My B, guys, my B. Yo, what's up, Tempo? We got another Super XP charm. Yeah, I didn't realize it was asking me if I wanted to heal. Wait, why did my Litten's level go to 10? It's red. I think we, we got capped. Starfairy. I think we go for protein here, no? Or do we potion up? Quaxley. I think we, we stay protein. Protein on Litten would be clutch once he gets some more physical moves. We got Pat Rat. Alright, we need to start training up our other guys for sure. Oh, he's got Grassy Surge. Yo. Only problem is he's level 5. So yeah, I'm a little bit... Yeah, I don't think... Wait, this is a boss. Bro. No, 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 no. I just realized this is a boss. If this was a regular Pat Rat, maybe Litten could do something, but... Or sorry, Grookey. Oh my gosh. That HP, though. He got two HP bars, bro. But we absolutely one-shot the second bar. Nice. Let's go. Get some bonus XP on Grookey. And look at that. We get the XP charm. Is that the thing I missed out on earlier? I think we still got it. Maybe the one that we would have gotten earlier was better. The one that I missed out on. The level cap has been increased. You get an XP charm for every loss. Nice. Or every boss. Sorry. Bro just built different. Bro, how? No, I don't... Am I... Wait, how did I get hidden ability on all my starters? Was that really luck? Or, I don't know, maybe because it's my first time. I don't know if that was luck or not. The other one was a super charm. Oh. Well. I mean. Live and learn, right? You live and learn. What's up, Azrael? How you doing? Alright, let's go branch poke. Okay, Grookey, okay. Grookey, you can do this, buddy. Easy peasy. Even though we got our attack lowered. There we go. What's up, DS man? How are ya? Yeah, we're still doing fine. I mean, we missed out on bonus XP, which sucks, but we're doing okay. Uh, definitely... Oh no, we got healed up for free! You guys said after every 10 waves, you get healed for free. Uh, by the way, this is the wave that we're on right here. Number 11. So I guess after wave 10, we got healed. So do we go X speed, maybe? We haven't seen any status ailments yet, really. I feel like X speed might be pretty good. Increase the speed by one stage for five battles. I mean, I'll take some speed. For sure. Now we're guaranteed to be faster than... Oh my god, that Bidoof did a lot of damage, though. Yo, I think my, I might actually die if I stay in on Grookey. I don't know how much damage that did, but I think it was more than 11. 
I don't want to risk Grookey dying. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure if he dies, we don't get XP on him anymore until the next wave 10 or something. Let's just make sure he doesn't die. Ooh, Ultra Ball, yo! Increases the power of Ghost type. I mean, I don't have any Ghost types. Give me the money! I want to keep switching in Grookey, but I guess he's got the EXP share. So maybe we just try... Oh my god, really? You got Fake Out, bro? That's annoying. Lowered our attack, but we got Water Gun, so we're fine. Holy! You're doing some big damage, though. Bro, no! I lost my first Pokemon! Oh wait, we can actually catch this Meowth, though. Yo! Okay, you know what? We lost Quaxly, but... This isn't a Nuzlocke, really. So if we get a revive later on, we're still fine. First death. <laughs> First death. Doesn't look like this one has Technician, though. Yeah. Hey, Pickup is pretty cracked? Okay. Pickup is OP. Yo, wait, we can just revive Quaxly right now. Let's go! We're getting so lucky! <laughs> I'm getting that beginner's luck for sure. And we got a double battle. That's also really good because both Pokemon get XP. The only problem is Quaxi's at half. I mean, I guess I could switch him out. Maybe we can try out Meowth. Oh wait, Meowth doesn't get healed either though. I mean, it's freaking Metapod and Kakuna, bro. What's the worst they could do? Harden? <laughs> I mean, actually, Kakuna does a little bit more than Harden. Metapod, I should have probably killed Kakuna first. Yeah, it's got Poison Sting, but we don't get poisoned. The streamer's luck is kicking in. Yo, what's up, Nicole? How you doing? All right, what do we got? Fury Swipes? Yeah, let me get, let me get some of that. What's up, just another viewer? Waiting for Kakuna to use Judgment. Why would you... Yo, why would you wish that on me? I wouldn't wish that on my biggest enemy, bro. You're wishing that on me? Do I go Nugget or do I heal up? Because we are kind of low on a, a few of our Pokemon now. And honestly, I haven't spent any of my money yet. We've just been stacking it. But I mean, that was what was recommended is just to keep stacking the money. Whoa, he is dual streaming. That's right, Molly. We out here. I'm gonna wait for you guys to see what, what you guys say. Buy a potion and take a nugget. Heal early is good for healing. Later, it's great for money. Yo, what's up, physics? Welcome back. Never again cardio while listening to stream. The nugget is worth five potions. So wait, if we buy an item, we can still pick up the nugget? Let me see if that's how it works. Oh, okay, so the items you buy, they're like... Unlimited. Alright, well in that case, I'll, I'll take the nugget. I think that was the strat right there. I want to keep training Plaxy though. I know I didn't heal him up, but I think he can survive Bidoof. Surely. Okay. Yeah, we're learning. We're learning. The shop items are unlimited. Well, as much. Not unlimited, but as long as you have the money, you can keep buying. Hey, let's go, Quaxley. Wing attack. Love that. What's up, Chris? Gyarados, Flamigo, and Excadrill are must catches. Dude, I actually have not been catching Pokemon. I'm a little bit worried about that, honestly. Um, I think we go X attack here. Oh wait, is this a held item? Or is this just like a one-time heal? Restores 25% HP if below. Now, I think we go, oh, well, I mean, we kind of have like mixed special and physical attack. I don't know if the citrus berry is really worth it. And it's a, it's a one-time use, right? So like if we put this on Quaxly, it's going to get used immediately. Let me just use a potion on Quaxly. 
And then we're going to X attack. Oh, Fletchling. Dude, I want to catch a Fletchling. I love Talonflame. Especially if we can get Big Pecs. Or no, not Big Pecs. Wait, Gale Wings got nerfed. I don't know if in this game it's the old or the new one. Nice. Dude, this game is so smooth. Like, the animation and everything. Oh, we did get Big Pecs. A horrible nature, though. Plus attack, or special attack. Come on. We definitely need to catch more Pokemon, though. I've been forgetting. Ooh, Great Ball. Oh, we got another Lure, though. Okay, we're going Lure. Thankfully, we can just switch out of here, too. Should we try out Meowth, actually? The boy got Fake Out. It's pretty OP. wonder how much damage he does. Eh, not bad, not bad. Actually, doesn't Faint, like, not miss? Or is Faint priority? I forget. I think Faint attack never misses. Not gonna lie, lures are kind of mid. I mean... <laughs> What's up, Jomon? Welcome back, dude. Lures are very important. You get double battles, more XP. Yeah, we're stacking the lures right now. We got four. Oh, my super lure is gone, though, from earlier? I thought it would last forever. Oh, we got another lure. I think we go rare candy. From what I learned, lures are good because you get more double battles, and that means more XP for your Pokemon. But I mean, if we can get a free level with a rare candy... <laughs> We're almost level 16 with Lin. Is there any way we can check how far along his XP is? So we don't bait, like waste it? Nah, I think I just go lure. We're just, we're just gonna keep stacking them. Oh, okay, this is this. I thought this is how many lures we had. This is how many more turns it's gonna last. Ah, oh, okay, so we, yeah. So our super lure ran out earlier. The protein is a held item. Interesting. Increases the holder's base attack by 10%. The higher your IVs, the higher the stack limit. Okay. Yeah, we gotta heal the duck, too. I did forget. Thank you for reminding me. Let's uh, make one of these Bidoofs not attack. Oh, God! Why do you have rollout, bro? Which one went for rollout? It's the one on the left, right? We gotta get that thing out of here. ASAP. Oh, come on! He didn't die! Oh, wait, what? The rollout didn't stack. What? That's weird. Let me go Fury Swipes, because we have the protein. If we get five hit right here, we might just knock it out. Let's see. About to hit five times in a row. Right, Lin? Oh, my God! <laughs> no! Dude, Lin's gonna die. Nah, there's no way we miss Fury Swipes again, right? This is a big risk. I don't think I risk it, actually. I think I just... No, but Grookey's gonna die, too. We're making big moves right here. Big moves. One, two, and we're good. Let's go. <sighs> Not gonna lie, I was, I was a little stressed right there, but we pulled through. And we can just buy potions, too, so there we go. I think, I think we just heal up our whole team. And then go for the rare candy. Maybe not Fletchling, though. I mean... I mean, I guess it's good to have Fletchling full HP, too, but... Yeah, let me go for the rare candy. Wait, can I see Litten's XP? No, it doesn't show it, because we're in a double battle. Hmm. I want to go for the rare candy, but I feel like it might be a waste on Litten. Let me go for it on Quaxley. Not a waste, but like, you know how if your like XP is halfway or like almost full and you use a rare candy? I think it resets back to zero. So it wouldn't be as effective as like... Yo, wait, if we didn't switch out Meowth, does that mean Fake Out doesn't work? I got a test, man. This, this is a test kind of thing right here. Oh, it does work. Okay. So even though it wasn't technically the first turn of the battle... Or sorry, it is the first turn of the battle, technically. Like, Meowth didn't 
stay in. It's just that the game works weird. It's almost like catch Zubat. Alright, I'll try. I don't know if it lets me catch it though, if like there's... Oh yeah, so only one Pokemon. Frick, I should have weakened Pidgey first then. Nah, I'm gonna just knock out Zubat. I don't want to take more damage. Oh my god, really? Okay. I'll catch Pidgey though. <laughs> Bro, when you're applying the rare candy, you have summary you can check. Oh, I, I was trying to, but I didn't see that option. Might be. I thought that if I pushed A, it would just automatically use the rare candy. I didn't know. Okay, we got Pidgey with the tangled feet. I spammed Fake Out Meowth plus Mimic Squawk to get through the first 50 waves. Mimic Squawk? Like Squawkabilly? Oh, so you like double Fake Out? Dude, that's kind of crazy. My boys need some healing right now. Hmm. Oh, we got great IVs. Yeah, so the thing I learned is that the IVs, like... Wait, so if we press... Oh, we can check the summary. Where do you see the IVs? I guess maybe it doesn't show it on this. We'd have to go back to the main menu. Unless, can we check our Pokedex? Mm, stats. No, that's different. Okay, I think we'd have to go back to the beginning. What's up, Marvelin? But yeah, whatever the IVs that you get, if you catch a new Pidgey, for example, and it has better IVs, it'll replace that Pidgey back in the title screen, which is pretty cool. So you'll always just get the highest or the strongest version of the Pokemon that you have. Okay, I'm gonna heal up those. I think I'm fine without Fletchling, to be honest. I'll just heal up Quaxley. Oh, no, no, what the frick? No, I, I want an item, bro. Why, why would you skip? What's up, Lucky Chrono Jet? No, we don't have a... We're not doing Nuzlocke. I mean, technically, you maybe could do a Nuzlocke of this, but it would automatically heal you after wave 10. So you would have to like, oh, dude, I just realized we're about to get to wave 10. So maybe we shouldn't have healed. Whatever, I'm taking the dire hit. It'd be very difficult. <laughs> okay, ascending lit in for that juicy intimidate. And hopefully... Fury Swipes, we still have the protein actually, so got increased attack. If we can get five hits on this, bro, come on. Keep hitting it. Oh my god, why did his special defense rise? Oh, we got the crit, let's go, dire hit. Clutch. Oh my god, mud slap. And our accuracy drops, come on. Oh no! Why? Come on, we almost had that. I mean, it's fine, we still got like 20 more Pokemon. But Flail does more damage the lower HP he is. Oh my god. Hold up. This is a strat. We switch in Meowth. We live that. We don't live that. <laughs> it got a crit! You gotta be kidding me, man. I was hoping that we could just fake out. Oh my god. Wait, you can catch a boss? Yo! Earth Geomancer! Thank you so much for the two. Super chat. Appreciate it. My favorite pizza toppings. Jalapeno. I put jalapeno on almost every pizza that I can. And I guess pepperoni. Kind of basic, to be honest. I'm a big barbecue pizza enjoyer, though. Like, if I had to pick my favorite pizza, barbecue chicken with jalapeno. But Chicago deep dish is a close second. Alright, I'm not actually sure if we can catch a boss, but we'll try. Uh, no! Bro, this thing is gonna one-shot my whole team. Oh my god. And it- wait, why did it- oh my god, we put up the freaking grassy terrain for it. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, Fletchling has quick attack. But... I feel like this is not gonna kill it. I should've just waited, bro, until my last Pokemon. I'm just gonna try this because Fletchling's gonna die. Okay, 
I'm sorry. I wanted to catch it, but I feel like if I didn't quick attack, none of my other Pokemon have priority. We could have literally lost the run right there. And now, of course, Quaxley gets Aqua Jet. We needed that a little earlier, bro. We could have used that. I could have had it, kept trying to catch it. Thankfully, that was wave 20, so we get healed up. Wild Sunkern. Nice. Does Fletchling have any flying moves? Oh, he's got Peck. Yeah, we're fine then. Yeah, I didn't want to risk that. Like, it's a Dunsparce, bro. I don't want a Dunsparce, you know? It's not that bad. <laughs> it's not that bad of a loss. Though, I guess in this game, there is Dud Dunsparce. So, that would have been cool. All right. We got another lure. I think I'm gonna go for the lure. Ooh, look, we unlocked more items now. At the top. Yo, boosty! <laughs> Among, Us. Among Us! Thank you so much for the sub, boosty, and welcome back to the Munchy Bunch. Appreciate the support, guys. Y'all are absolutely killing it. We got four subs already? Or three? There was someone that subscribed 20 hours ago when I wasn't even live, so I'm gonna count that. The goal is always at least five, so yo, one more person subscribes? I don't know what I'm gonna do, but maybe you guys can suggest something. What's up, Leo? Can you also get wild legendaries or bosses only? I'm pretty sure you can catch legendaries, but it's really- Whoa! <laughs> Yo! I didn't think someone would actually do it, but thank you so much! Petro! For the sub! And we got the hype train going, let's go! Thank you so much, we got the hype train, welcome! To the Munchy Bunch! Petro! Appreciate you guys, for real, for real. I've been streaming a lot more recently, I've been enjoying it a lot, so your support on the stream just makes me want to stream more, so if you like the live content, you know, hit that like button on YouTube, subscribe on Twitch, and on YouTube if you haven't yet, and I'll do more streams. Your Pokemon are trash, okay? <laughs> What's up, Aditya? I'm sorry, I don't know how to say that name. Aditya? How you doing? Where you living now, bro? Yo! Diabru! Thank you for the prime sub, buddy. The hype train's still going. Let's go. Welcome to the Munchy Bunch. And now I gotta come up with uh, something. If you guys want to recommend some kind of viewer redemption reward type of thing. Only thing I can think of is I got I got some hot sauce in the fridge, but my hot sauce tolerance is pretty good. I'm not trying to flex or anything, but I think if we get to 10 subs, I can definitely do some hot sauce. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Blends. I like how I can't find time to watch YouTube vids, but I can watch the streams. That feels a little backwards, bro. I don't know. What's up, Pokemon Talon? Hello. You ever watch Hot Ones? Yeah, I like Hot Ones. Depends on the guest, but it's a good show. Yo, we got Turtwig. What? Oh, wait, is this a trainer? This is a wild Turtwig, right? Pretty sure this is a wild Turtwig. We gotta catch this little dude. Even though the game by default you already have all the starters, you can actually see right here, there's the gray Pokeball, which means we do have Turtwig, but you can get potentially a better Turtwig. Like with better stats and maybe better ability or nature. Definitely nature. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! We got careful nature. That's not bad actually. Torterra usually is more of a physical attacker. Look at those IVs, bro. 25 special D, that's pretty good. So yeah, this all like stacks. 
So if we were, if we had gotten one with a higher special attack than two, which apparently we didn't, that's zero defense. Are you kidding? How did we have zero defense on Turtwig? Uh, I'm not actually going to add it to the party though. I'm going to keep, I'm going to stick with what we got. That IV spread hurts my brain. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if it was the best IVs, but it's Turtwig, you know, I'm happy. How are the kitties doing? Oh, they're good. I'm sure you'll see them soon enough. Eventually, they like to pop up. Well, usually it's just cheese. The HP so low right now. It was just that one Pokemon, though. I don't know if I want to stack Lure or go for this Iron. I think we just go for more lure. More potential XP. I don't know why I'm training up Fletchling all of a sudden, by the way. I should definitely be killing all these grass types with Litten. Like, we could have had a freaking Toracat by, by now. Iron is forever. Lure is temp. Oh, I see. Okay. I kind of forgot about that, to be honest. Like I said, live and learn, right? I keep forgetting that these are actually held items that you keep forever. Which is why I'm going lure forever. <laughs> nah, let Fletchling cook. I mean, that's true. If we can get a Talonflame, bro, Talonflame's pretty good. Even though Fletchling is kind of low right now. We'll see. How did Fletchling get higher at a level than Litten already. That's kind of crazy. We're, we'll get the Torah Cat though. We'll get it soon. We might even get Fletchlinger. Or both. Por que no los dos? Dude, I'm begging. Heal up Fletchling and start grinding with Litten. Please. <laughs> Alright, I got you, bro. Yo, we picked up a Lumberry. Noise. Okay, so I'm confused because this iron is blue. Oh, wait, the, the, the special, the X items. The X items are temporary, but the blue, like the iron protein and stuff are forever. Okay, so we definitely go iron here. Can we put multiple items? Yo, what? We could, we got protein and iron on Litten now? And our rival's back! Fancy meeting you here. Looks like you're still undefeated, huh? Not bad. I know what you're thinking, and no, I wasn't creeping on you. Sure, sure. I'm happy for you, but I just want to let you know that it's okay. I just thought of, like, the Kanye meme from back in the day. Yo, Taylor, I'm happy for you, and I'm gonna let you finish, but... I'm about to end this man's whole career. Or so she thinks, but in reality, Fletchling is not healed. Gosh dang it, bro. We're screwed. I mean, at this point, we just let Fletchling die. Maybe get a little bit of damage if we're faster, which I doubt we're faster, but maybe because it's Quilladin. Actually, no, we're definitely faster. It's Quilladin, bro. Oh, she re Oh! Okay, I see you. Switching it up on us. All right, all right. Well, in that case, I'll send out my Pidgey, even though it's going to die also. I want Fletchling to stay alive, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, and then we're gonna go into Meow. Yeah, I don't know why she didn't take that, but whatever. She's actually pretty high level though. I'm a little nervous now. Meowth's dead. Oh, Meowth is not dead. And he's faster, so we're good. And now... Hmm... I think we let Quaxly take the kill, if we're faster, which I hope. Oh, we have Aqua Jet, so we got the free Moxie boost. No! You son of a... That sucks. I wanted to get the free Moxie right there, bro. That would have been clutch. She actually got the strats, though. Like, she making us work for it. Unfortunately, Grookey's not very... Uh, yeah, Grookey's not gonna do crap here, let's be real. Oh my god, is this the end, bro? Is, is level 25 where it's over for us? 
Not giving up though. Oh, she got rolled out. Oh, that's not good. And we don't even do half of her health, dude. Come on. Oh, we're done for, bro. We're, we're so done for. We got flinched too. Come on. Are you kidding? It's so over, dude. It's Jover. No. Linton. Frick, man. <laughs> we're so done for. We couldn't even take out one of her Pokemon because of her switch. Yeah, Quaxly does nothing. Come on, man. Why is Quaxly doing no damage? Oh my god. She gonna switch again? Oh. How does she have a Lapras? Why does she have a Lapras? All right, well, you know what? I don't even feel that bad anymore. I even if we killed that Quilladin, there was no way we were taking out Lapras. Okay, well, what did we learn, guys? What did we learn? I probably should have prioritized getting Toracat. I definitely should not pass up on that Super Charm. And that, I guess that's the roadblock, according to all of you guys in chat. 25 is the run killer. Is the roadblock. Yo, come on. I'm not seeing enough Munch 07. I'm, I see I'm the 07s. Enough. Oh, sorry. I see the 07s, but where's the Munch 07s? <laughs> Man, that was rough. There it is. That's the, <laughs> that's what I meant right there. Next team, make sure to bring one Pokemon with pickup. I mean, we had Meowth, but did Meowth actually pick up anything? I don't know. Not gonna lie, this is the first time I've seen her have a Lapras. Dude, that's freaking nuts. Like, I feel like that's a little broken for this early in the game. We ain't all subbed. I mean, I know that, but for the people that are subbed, you know. Also, even if you're not sub, I think there's a way you can unlock emotes. Maybe I have that enabled. Yeah, for 5,000 berries. So if you're watching for long enough on Twitch, get you 5,000 berries, you can unlock an emote for free. But I guess maybe you wouldn't pick the... <laughs> the Frogadier, or Froki, sorry. I got swept by her Aerodactyl in one of my first runs. Bro, she can have Aerodactyl? It was picking up items, but you had to transfer it to other Pokemon. Oh, okay, Jonas. My B. I mean, you know, we're learning. That was literally the first run. And you know what? After this ad is over, we're going to hop right into the next one. Got one minute left. Uh, so I'm going to go get my water real quick. I'll be right back. Yo, what the heck? I thought that was gonna take longer. It took me like 20 seconds. I got a cookie too. Oh, there's the prediction. Now it works. Will we beat the rival in run two? Make sure to get your predictions in. Yeah, if you're subbed on Twitch, you don't get ads, which I feel like Twitch is going a little too crazy with the ads nowadays. So it's definitely a nice thing to have that option.
They are really good cookies, Mary. Uh, they're from Trader Joe's. I don't know where you live, but apparently you can buy them on Amazon too. They're called Trader Joe's Chocolate Chip Cookie Dunkers. They're supposed to be for dipping with milk, but they're really good on their own too. Yeah, Trader Joe's is clutch. I don't buy like all my groceries from there, but I buy a lot of like snacks. They're really good. For your second run, you should try to catch as many Pokemon as possible. Then for run three, you can use them and sweep. All right, that's a good tip, Omega. Thank you. Cottony, for example, is great at beating the rival early on, as well as being a wall for one of the hardest battles. Okay. That Lapras won't be the last time Ivy surprises you. <laughs> hey, Orange, I may not be a Jedi or anything, but I had a vision of a new Pokemon region based on Brazil? Yo, wait, is that a super chat? I just realized it's like highlight. There's a 1990. Yo, Aaron Samuels. Thank you so much. That should pop up soon, I hope. Also, if you guys haven't already, make sure to predict. Will we beat the rival second try? Everyone's saying yes. I, I feel like you guys are a little too confident in my abilities right now. Oh, there it is. A vision of a new Pokey region based on Brazil for Generation 10 in 2026 last night in my ZZZ. Bro, I need to turn that up, the text to speech. That was really quiet, but thank you so much, Aaron Samuels. I think a Brazil Pokemon region would go hard for sure. I think South America in general. Like, you can do so much with that area, like with the, the Native American history there. Aztecs, Mayans, all the temples and ruins. I'm not sure what Brazil's deal is with like Native Americans. I'm assuming it's also Mayan slash Aztec slash Inca. Those are like the three big ones, right? But yeah, 20 bucks. Absolute mad lad. You know what? Just for that, bro, I got you with a little thank you. <laughs> What's up, Charles James and Minervi? Welcome back, bro. Mew's region. Oh yeah, Mew was originally found in Brazil, right? They should they could do a Legends game based on Brazil and, and you find like Mew down there. Legends Mew. That would be cool. It would be cool actually if a Legends game was in a new region, but I guess the whole point with Legends is that like you're visiting familiar regions in a different time timeline, time zone. Oh yeah, timeline. <laughs> For Battle 25, you just got to get the right combo of Pokemon and get lucky and go in with full HP. Okay, well, we had one of those things at least. <laughs> Yo, this prediction is going for 10 more minutes. God dang. I didn't even realize. All right, well, in that case, it's time for run number two. Thank you guys so much for all the tips. What's up, Daisha Pickens? Welcome. Maybe based off some indigenous people in the Amazon. Yeah, for sure. The Amazon would go hard in a Pokemon region. That's why I say South America in general, like there's so many biomes there. You got the Amazon, you got like deserts. Like it could, it could make for a very diverse region. I think even down in Peru and Chile, there's like snowy mountains. Oh, dude, you could do like Machu Picchu. Bro, South America region would go hard, but I guess usually they stick to one country, but I don't know. I feel like if you did all of South America, it would be more diverse or they can just make some crap up like with Paldea, bro. Like there's no way Spain is that diverse. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Round two. I recommend starting with Puikoko, Grookey, and Mudkip. Machu Pikachu. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Pokey Rogue is fire. Yes, it is. I love that name, bro. Disabled Grandpa? What? <laughs> Are you actually? What's up, Turtle Boy? I'm down for some Mudkip. You guys know I love Mudkip. I just wanted to use the ones that I put on the thumbnail for the first run ever. Mudkip got the damp. Oh, wait. Let me check Turtwig because we got a new Turtwig. So if you press N, 
you can cycle through the different natures that you've gotten. So we had bashful, now we have careful nature. So you can pick whichever nature you want. I don't think I'm actually going to use Turtwig though. You guys said, uh, Fuecoco is the best. Wait, what makes Fuecoco so good? Is it the unaware? I just realized how they all have hidden ability. That's crazy. Torch Song? I mean, that's like later on, I guess. <laughs> right now, we ain't gonna have Torch Song. If you hit enter, you can check the IVs too. Oh. Well, I guess it didn't work for this one because we don't actually have the IVs. Wait, we can't even check the IVs. What? Maybe if we go... Okay, we just do that. There we go. It's not enter. It was a different button. Oh, so they all start at 10. So yeah, because we caught a Turtwig during that first run, Turtwig's IVs are higher than anyone else. Does that mean Litten's IVs are higher too? No, they're not. What the heck? I thought maybe we would have got... Oh, IVs. Sorry. EVs are different. Can we see EVs? Or do they always start at zero EVs? Or is there even EVs in this game? I'm guessing there are. Okay, well, let's go with uh, the ones you guys recommended. Fuecoco, Mudkip, and I forgot who the grass starter would be. Bro, how, how do you have hidden abilities so early? I don't know. I literally started my game with hidden abilities. I have no idea. <laughs> what grass starter do you guys recommend I start with? What's up, poet fan? Welcome. Hey, what's up, Aqua Scream stuff? We talking about Fakemon? For a little bit, yeah. <laughs> well, a Fakemon region, that is. Yeah, Africa. Africa Pokemon region would go hard, too. I would love to see that. Grookey? Maybe Grookey, or you could grab a different Mon. I want to do something different, since we already used Grookey. I mean, honestly, I might go Turtwig, just because we got some IVs on it. Maybe that would be helpful. Okay, so I'm using controller actually, by the way. You can play this game with a controller. So if you have like a Xbox controller, PlayStation controller, just plug it into your computer. You can use it. I'm, I'm gonna go with Turtwig. Why not? I know Turtwig probably sucks, but <laughs> because it at least has some stats, I feel like it'll be a little stronger. We immediately kick it off with super effective. Nice. Oh, I probably should have caught that cottony. <laughs> Yo, your message came in right as I killed it, bro. <laughs> That's sad. Hey, we got rare candy on the first try, though. Wait, when did I pick Piplup? When did I pick Piplup, bro? Nah, we're starting over. We're starting over. I want Mudkip. I didn't even notice that I picked Piplup. What the heck? Oh yeah, by the way, we can also pick from the Pokemon we caught earlier now. So, Meowth, Pidgey. I find it absolutely crazy that you can pick Lapras as your- You can pick Mewtwo as a starter. That's crazy. Yeah, that doesn't count for the prediction. <laughs> uh, yeah, we want Mudkip for sure. But I think I should still lead off with Fikoko. So first is Fuecoco. I mean, we get the chance to switch every battle anyway. Okay, there's Mudkip and Turtwig. I don't know how I picked Piplup, bro. That's weird. Yeah, we'll just replace this. Oh wait, what? Why can't we over... Oh, what? That was weird. It wouldn't let me overwrite it, but then it did. Okay. Mudkip is the best water starter of all time, just because it's water ground when it evolves. Until you run into a grass type. <laughs> Enigma Berry. Restores 25 HP if hit by a super effective move. Hmm. I mean, that sounds kind of good for the first turn. I, I feel like we don't have very good options for the first turn. Maybe I just go for the X attack. Let me know if you guys think the Enigma Berry might have been Berry there, or better. The Berry is better. Oh, Mudkip faster? Hold up. I didn't need to Ember the- or I should have Water Gunned the Rattata. Did 
It gave you a few seconds so you wouldn't accidentally double click and delete your save. Oh, that's a nice little feature right there. In case people are like just spamming through and they don't want to delete an old run on accident. Yo! Max Lure on the second turn? Doubles the chance of double battle for 25 battles. Bro. That's crazy. And we didn't even get the double battle still. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't increase the chance of the double battle. It just lasts for longer. Can you nickname your Pokemon, by the way? Is that a thing? Oh, another Cottony. Should we catch this one, maybe? Yours are saying Cottony's very good. Well, I... Omega said that actually. I don't think multiple people did. What's up, Laura? The game is pretty fun so far, not gonna lie. I already knew I was probably gonna get addicted to it. it it's off to a good start for sure. <laughs> In getting me hooked. What? Terra shards become available? I mean, I don't even know what that means, but you know I gotta go for it. <laughs> So we can terrestrialize apparently. We are stacked right now, bro. We got the Terra Orb and we got a Max Lure. That's crazy. And we have two X items too. Terra's from Scarlet and Violet, yep. It's okay, but it's only redeeming quality is Prankster, which you won't have early game. Uh. Yo, what is that? Oh my god! Focus Band adds a 10% chance to survive with 1 HP? I mean, that would have came in real handy against that rollout Quilladin. Quilladin. Yo, I just noticed how the prediction is still up in the top right. Has it been there this whole time? Might be. I mean, it was going to disappear soon enough anyway. I'll just leave it there. <laughs> in case someone still wants to predict, because we got what? 60% of people now think that I'm gonna lose or the rival's gonna beat us in round 25. What happened, man? I said one time, like, y'all have too much faith. Suddenly it swings to the other way. Come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> All right, hold on. What am I picking for right now? Focus Band, right? I think I put Focus Band on Mudkip. I'm put it on Mudkip. Yo, Minchino! Oh my god. You know what? This might not even be that strong of a Pokemon. But Minchino was literally my channel avatar. We have to catch it. Plus, I gotta fill up the Pokedex, you know? Eventually. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the Super Lure. We got Wooloo, okay. Let's switch to Mudkip now. No skill link, sadly, yeah. It's literally my second run, though. I'm not expecting to get anything too crazy. I don't know if maybe, like, the more you play the game, it's, like, higher chance to get hidden abilities or what. But, ooh, I like how it shows you when, like, Torin kicks in. God dang, that Wooloo gave so much XP! And we get a Rare Candy! Alright, uh, I think I go Rare Candy on Fuecoco. Even though we could have used a heal. Oh my god. I thought the rival was round 10. I didn't heal, man. Is it still the same dialogue? It looks like it is. Okay, yeah, it is. The boss is wave 10. Oh, the boss, sorry. The rival is different. <sighs> okay, so Fuecoco is almost dead. And she starts off with Trico. And we can't heal either, so... Maybe we just growl this thing, if we're faster even. Nope. Of course. Alright, alright, well, you know... You know, you know what, guys? Look, we don't get one shot by Quick Attack, that's good. We got the Blaze kicking in, too. If we manage to be faster than Fletchling, we might be okay. Nope. We're slower. Freaking Quick Coco, man. Alright, it's okay, we got this still. <laughs> Maybe baby doll eyes. Oh my god. Everyone's getting one shot. 
Dude, if this, this thing has peck, right? We're so screwed. Oh my god, we're literally gonna... <laughs> we're gonna lose already, bro, after we had such a stacked start. Are you kidding me? All because I didn't heal Fue Coco. Pain. Absolute pain. <laughs> that doesn't count. We didn't even make it to the rival. No, that doesn't count for the prediction. What? Yo! The prediction was that are we going to lose to the rival? We didn't even... Oh, wait. Actually, you guys said on... Yeah, you, the prediction was for round 25. Oh, no. It just says, will we beat the rival in run two? Actually, you're right. You're right. My bad. My bad. My bad. Well, easy berries. <laughs> I thought it was, will we beat it in round 25? It just says, in run two. That was rough. It said round 25 to be fair. I don't see. I remember it saying round 25. Maybe I, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm misremembering. But yo, what happened, man? Like what? I literally just forgot to heal. Whatever. We're going right back at it. And you know, we're not picking Turtwig this time. Like, I'm sorry, but Turtwig didn't do crap. Okay, well, I want to run it back, though. I feel like that wasn't really fair. Or it wasn't, like, a good showing of these Pokemon that you guys are saying are good. But I'm going to go with, uh, I'm going to go with Sprigati. No, we don't want two Paldea. Wait, how come we have... Oh, my God, I don't have hidden abilities now. Wait, I just realized last run, too, we didn't have hidden abilities. Huh? Is it random? This time we don't have the hidden abilities. Was my game glitching? Or what? No, I, I, I can't change it. It's not giving me the option to change. It was a first game bonus. But yo, the second time when I picked Pipple up on accident, it still showed the hidden ability. So it wasn't just for the first time. Your game was glitched. It happened to me last night, bro. You know what? I'm going to just say that was the only reason we did so good the first time. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I'm going to go with Snivy. Snivy doesn't get enough love. Dude, that's crazy. I did just notice though how like... Well, the last one that we lost... Oh? Oh, again? Yo! <laughs> it's a repeat. We're literally running it back. I don't know if Surskit is already water type. Oh, wait. It actually, yo, this is actually clutch. Uh, sometimes I forget Pokemon types, but this game actually shows you the types right there. So I was about to Ember that Surskit. Don't forget to catch some. True, true. I should have caught that Venipede, actually, because... Speed boost, Scolipede? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. We're off to a great start, guys. We're off to a great start. It was just beginner's luck, man. <laughs> Five times Rogue Ball. Catch rate three times. I mean, I feel like I should just revive with Coco already. But, well, we're going to be set back on a lot of money, but I don't know. I guess we can just keep training Mudkip. I'm going to go for the Rogue Ball. No, 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 no. No, Snivy, get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, we got a new prediction going. Will we beat the rival on Battle 25? Okay, this time it's specifically on Battle 25. That is if we even make it. <laughs> if we even make it, bro. I'm gonna try, though. 
I'm gonna try to focus up. Yeah, revives are pretty dang expensive. Oh, what the heck? Allows you to choose your destination at a crossroads. Yo, we got a free revive! Damn, these are all pretty good. Is the map actually good? It's the best item? Really? Okay. We're locking in. We could have had a free revive for Fuecoco, but... Y'all are saying the map is good, so... I don't know, I'm... I don't know what a crossroad is, but I want to know. I gotta learn the game, you know, so we're gonna go for it. What's up, Hiei? Welcome back, dude. I like the map because it gives you options to get different types of Pokemon. Ooh, an Ultra Ball. Yo, what is this? Ways EXP points received from battle towards lower level Pokemon. Ooh. Is that better than a Nugget, though? Like, this isn't... It's not gonna spread the XP to different Pokemon, is it? Also, I don't know where to put the prediction, but if you guys haven't already, make sure to predict. Oh, the prediction is will we get to rival 25? Okay, it's not even will I beat the rival this time, it's just will we even make it to battle 25? <laughs> That's a good prediction, actually. That's a good prediction. What's up, Hyperball? Welcome back, dude. Get that EXP share. So it is like the EXP share. I, this looks, this sounds different. I don't know if it actually shares the experience as well, or if it just... I don't know. Not sure if you noticed, but the item in the right evolved. It happens more for each shiny Pokemon on your team. And no, I didn't notice. I also, I don't even have a sh any shiny Pokemon. Oh, it is EXP share, but just waited to lower level Pokemon. I mean, I guess that's not bad. Let me buy a revive for Fuecoco first, though. We're gonna be set back some money, but I mean, we could also just... No, let's just grab this. I need Fue Coco alive, man. We got the 50-50 prediction. That's crazy. Oh my god, why is Mudkip out? We got quick attack! Come on, man! I thought it would have automatically or let us at least switch. Oh my god, what we're so slow! Bro, we're gonna lose all our Pokemon already again. This is bad. This is, this is very bad. Okay, well at least we make it through. Now we can potion up. Oh my god, he's got another- Dude, if this Wurmple's freaking faster, I swear, man. Come on, is that it? Are we done? Can we heal? Thank goodness. <sighs> oh, we got a max revive. For free. Okay, we might actually be okay. I'm gonna potion up both of these guys, and we have to go for the revive, bro. We have to. Alright. That kind of saved the run right there. That kind of saved it. How come Fletchling's Pokeball is red? Sometimes the Pokeball is gray, sometimes it's red. I don't know what it actually means. But dude, the prediction is still basically 50-50. That's crazy. You gotta keep it that way. Those are, I mean, I guess that's not how you get the most berries. The most berries is if it's like one is really weighted low and you actually win the prediction. Oh, because it's in your party. Okay. Wait, no, we don't have it in our party though. Do we? I might take the citrus berry to be honest. Or do we just free potion up with Coco? Because we caught it? Gray means it's some kind of variant or ability you don't have. Oh, okay, okay. So it could be like a different nature, different ability. I see, I see. That means that one was the same? Or maybe it's not nature, maybe it's just ability. Different ability. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go... I'm gonna take... Wait, how much does this heal? 25%? Nah, this heals more, dude. Oh my god, Ditto? Is Ditto OP? Is Ditto actually good in this? It transforms immediately. I should have gone for tackle knowing. Just throw the ball. <laughs> Alright. Dang it. I think I should have gone one more tackle to be honest. Oh my god. Freaking Ditto is going to kill us bro. Come on. 
Stay in. Come on, man. It actually is going to kill my Fue Coco. Come on. I know Ditto doesn't have the best catch rate. You have a Rogue Ball. Oh, yeah, we do. Dude, I thought this was the previous run. Okay, I should have just used that from the start. But, hey, at least Fue Coco didn't die to it. And we got Ditto. And we got Ultra Balls now. I kind of feel like I need the potion. But then again, maybe we just focus on catching stuff this run. I think some of you guys were saying that. Oh my god, why did I forget it was the rival? I should have healed. I'm gonna freaking lose the rival again. Okay, she got Bulbasaur, but look, with Coco's. <laughs> Okay, at least we can tank a tackle. Let's go! Actually, we're fine. Oh, wait? The double switch? Yo, that was kind of crazy from our rival. I mean, Ditto's gonna die, obviously, but... It's okay. It's all good. We just gotta make it through this, bro. Oh my god! Let's go, Mudkip! Was that the torrent? Were we even- oh, critical hit! Okay, I was about to say. I don't even think we were low enough for the torrent right there. Goes Vine Whip, perfect. And boom! Whew! We're fine. We're alright. However, this doesn't heal us yet. We have to make it to round 10. We need to remind him more, guys. Yeah, you guys need to spam those heal emotes. I need the heal emotes. The thing is, on my chat, it doesn't show the Nightbot command. So I just need you guys to spam the actual emote. I got a potion emote on Twitch. There you go. See, now I can see the potion emotes under me. I need those. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna get some potion in. For both of them. And let's also rare candy up. Wait, actually, we could go lure. I don't know what's better, Lure or Rare Candy here. Hmm. Let's go... Let's go Rare Candy on Mudkip. I'll put all my eggs on Mudkip this round. Matter of fact, we're switching out. I guess said Rare Candy Snivy. Well, we have the EXP share that's good for lower level, so if, even if we keep Snivy lower, she's gonna gain a little XP from that. Oh, now we get a lure anyway, so... No, we don't need Potion right now. Well, Mudkip's already half health, though. I think he can survive one more round, though. Oh, actually... I think Mudkip is fine for... Oh, wait. Is this the boss coming right now? Dude, I need to remember on the boss. Special attack for the boss? Okay, actually, yeah, this is the boss round. Good thing I healed, bro. And also, we got plus special attack, so our water gun. We'll do a little bit more. Oh my god, let's go. Wait, I could've gone Rock Smash, actually. What? Does it auto- Yo, that's kinda- It's kinda cringe, dude. The way that its HP bars work. Uh, I don't think we survive, but... I'ma try. No, Mudkip! Okay, let's go... Ember, because we have the plus special attack still. Yo, Fue Coco's so tanky! Hold up! We're actually fine! Okay. I actually could have tried to catch it. <laughs> I forgot. It's gonna take me a while, guys, you know? <laughs> Maybe like 20 more rounds and I'll I'll remember that you can catch the boss too. Might be. I killed it right as chat came in saying to catch it. Wait, hit an ability? Oh, that Pidgey! Oh my god, I need to pay attention to that too. Apparently that Pidgey had hit an ability. Okay, we got Super Lure. Fue Coco needs a heal, though. 
but we'll grab the super lure. Four HP bars? Nah, man. I mean, I know that this game goes to like level 200, right? I can only imagine how crazy it gets at those higher levels. Oh man, okay, this kind of sucks now because... <laughs> Ditto- Oh, yo, we got EXP all now! Does this stack with this one? Non-participants receive- Wait, we already have an EXP all. Oh, because when we meet the boss. It stacks. Okay, let's go. Definitely going for this. Endless mode goes until level 9. There's an endless mode? Bro. I was going to say because of this one, though. Our, like, Sirskit and Ditto are getting more of the XP now. Let me see. It actually shows. 115 XP for Ditto. 115 for Sirskit. And only 63 for Saini, so... Yeah, that kind of sucks. I wish I wish they would have stayed dead, not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, let's get Rock Throw. Yeah, so we got 40% now. 40% XP. Uh, Special Defense... I mean, none of these are that great, honestly. I guess we can go for the Lure. Oh, nice. We finally got a double battle. Look at that. That's why you go lure. I'm not keeping Ditto. Come on. Let's get Mudkip in there. Oh, Lechonk. Yo, wait. I want to catch Lechonk. I think it's cute. Let's rock smash Bidoof. Release the Surskit. You can release them? Cause yeah, honestly, Surskit is 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 not helping. <laughs> okay, thank goodness I didn't kill it. We have Ultra Ball. I guess I shouldn't waste the Rogue Ball yet, cause they're better. We can release the Pokemon mid battle. I don't know if that means like literally right now or in between the battles, but if I can do it right now, we'll see. Let me see right here. How do I check my party? Uh, oh, you can re-roll too. I didn't even see that until now. Okay, I guess mid-battle means when we actually are in the battle then. I'm gonna go... I mean, honestly, most of my Pokemon are special attack, so I don't think this X attack is that great. Maybe we just go potions, but maybe I just revive or heal up Flicoco. Even though it's a Hyper Potion. X attack still? I guess we have mixed. We have physical and special moves. Alright, uh, yeah, let's get Coco out of here. Bring in Snivy. That Pikachu's looking a little menacing, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe we go Ditto. And transform into it. I'm not sure how this works though. Oh, you can choose which one to transform into. Also, let me see. Oh, release! <laughs> so long, Sirskit. <laughs> That's kind of messed up, though. Actually, I might try to catch this Pikachu. I'm still transforming to it, though. Yeah, reroll seems kind of expensive to be worth it. I know with the keyboard it's escape to check the settings, but during battle, I think you just go to Pokemon. Oh yeah, we figured it out. Thank you, though, Gemma. I've never played this game before. Yeah, this is Pokey Rogue. Definitely recommend. I think it'd be fun, like, it's a, it seems like a fun game to, like, you watch a streamer play it while you're also playing it. Although maybe your focus might be a little too split in your own run. <laughs> or the other way around, I mean. Honestly, if you focus on your own run and not the streamer, seems like a pretty good thing to have in the background. Oh my god, come on, Ditto. Really? I'm gonna just keep hitting Pikachu. Hopefully we can actually hit it this time. Even though we're confused. Break through the confusion, please. Okay! Let's go, Ditto! Yeah, this is a very fun game to stream, too. It's like the perfect... 
low maintenance kind of stream game. Well, not low maintenance. Maybe that's the wrong word, because you definitely have to be focused. Yo, we got so much XP for that battle. What? Everybody leveled up. In class, I'm playing this game constantly. Oh yeah, that's another cool thing about it. You can literally play this on the phone. Yo, the iron. Okay, let's give that to the Coco. I told you Surskit was eating that XP. Yeah, bro, it's because of this item. Because it freaking prioritizes the lower level Pokemon. So literally, Surskit was just destroying our team. Alright, I'm gonna keep Ditto in. Pretty cool that it stays as a Pikachu. Actually, we could catch that Squovet. What is play nice? I don't even know. I think it lowers attack of the enemy or something. Come on, man. I should not have kept in Ditto because it's freaking confused. That's annoying. Come on, bro. Snapped out of it. Let's go. The Chonk is down. Hopefully, Squovet does not target Mudkip. I think Mudkip's about to die. I think Mudkip's about to die. Oh, let's go, Clutch. I mean, Ditto died still, but I'm okay with that. Wait, we don't have regular Pokeballs. This is kind of like a waste of an Ultra Ball. But whatever. That means it's guaranteed to catch at least. And we can just replace Ditto. I mean, we have Pikachu, but no, Ditto, Ditto seems like it'd be kind of good against like the rival. I feel like I, I should keep Ditto. What does Lechonk have? No, wait, what the heck? It's a Squovet, bro. Wait, but the evolution's not bad, Greedent. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for, let's go for Squovet. That is if we make it that far. <laughs> okay, we definitely need to heal this round. Like, we are looking rough. Oh my god, I just realized how rough it's looking. Let's heal everybody. Thank you guys for the heal emotes. Appreciate that. It, it really does help a lot. Like, bro, our money's not looking good this round, though. I think I'm gonna Super Potion Pikachu. I don't know, do we need a heal Squovet? I'm probably not gonna use it. I'm a Super Potion Pikachu. Uh, let's keep both of these in. Rock smash that thing. Oh my god, really? Yo! Why does that thing do so much damage though? Holy! My goal is definitely to try to get at least one of the starter evolutions before the next rival battle. Ideally two evolutions, but I'll be happy with at least one. Like we need that, honestly. Ooh, Nugget. We also got X defense though, but we kind of need the money at this point. <laughs> like we're running a little low. I'm gonna go for the nugget. What's up, Shahin Bura9? Ooh, Palmy! Dude, Palmy's cute. I definitely want Palmy. I love seeing like Paldean Pokemon with animated sprites like this. It's so awesome. And I just love in general how many Pokemon have animated sprites in this game. I put in the settings to prioritize animation. So I don't know if that means not every Pokemon is animated, but so far, almost all of them have been. Uh, others can join in the round to increase attack. I mean, no one else on my team has round, but I guess maybe I get rid of Tackle? Interesting way of pronouncing my name. Hey, look. <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely not the easiest name to pronounce, I will say. Okay, let me go Tackle and we'll go Ultra Ball. 
Hello, Dawn. Welcome. Hope you enjoy the stream. Oh my goodness. I forgot we had that. Thank you. My lovely wife made some delicious banana bread. I don't think... Was it yesterday or was it two days ago? It's so good, though. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Get rid of Ditto for sure. Wait, is this to replace the Pokemon? It is, right? I don't know, man. I feel like Ditto will be good against the rival, though. I think I'm gonna get rid of Squobat. Oh, wait, but I have two electric types now. Whoops. Reviver Seed? Isn't this from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon? What the... Revives the holder for half HP upon fainting. Is that a one-time thing? <laughs> Do we just put it on Ditto? Nah, we gotta put it on Fuecoco. Fuecoco's our carry on this team. Oh. Things are getting a little crazy, I see. It's getting a little heated in here. I like the music for that little bit that it was playing. Unfortunately, we can't switch out for trainer battle, so... We just gotta deal with this Meditite right now. Oh god. <gasps> I think we're dead. Yeah. We got the Leer off though, so... I mean, it doesn't even matter. I'm not gonna go for a physical move. I don't know why I did that, to be honest. <laughs> I should not have let Snivy die. Bro, this thing is doing some big damage! Uh, do we... I don't want Mudkip to die. I think we send in Palmy. Maybe it has Quick Attack or it just dies. Yeah, okay. Maybe Pikachu has Quick Attack, though. Pretty sure Quick Pikachu usually has Quick Attack. It doesn't! Okay, come on, you can live one... What, really? Wait, why does she have a throw? Why does she have a throw, bro? Okay, we gotta pray. Oh, yes! I used to pray for times like this. <laughs> I'm gonna hit him with the play nice, too. Just keep... Oh, wait, no, because that makes him hurt himself less now. Oh, he misses, though! Okay. She throwing right now. I love it. Keep hitting yourself with confusion. Yes. Keep hitting yourself, please. Oh, what the hell? That was kind of weird. All right. All right. Come on, Fuecoco. Come on. No! Is Fuecoco dead? Bro, we're 1 HP. Oh, my God. We're so done for, bro. We're so done for. Come on, Thundershock. Finish it. No, really? Oh, my God. And, of course, the bind. Of course. We have to be faster. Surely. Okay. Yeah, I know how Circle Throw works. It was just the animation was a little weird. Oh, we got Protect, though. Protect Mudkip, though? Hmm, I guess? I guess? <laughs> Wait, but she still has a- Oh my gosh, she still has another freaking Pokemon! Oh my god. We're slower, surely. Oh no, we're not. It missed! And we got Torrent! No! Wait, why are you faster now? Why was it suddenly faster? What the hell, man? Wait, what? Oh, the Reviver Seed? I forgot about the Reviver Seed! Ayo! I forgot the Reviver Seed, bro! We're okay! <laughs> We're okay! Oh my god. Incinerate? Let's go. But Coco literally has to carry us through the next boss battle. If we can just make it through the next battle, we get healed. We have to go for a revive though. Like, oh my god. Revive is so expensive though. We have a free potion for Coco. Maybe we revive Mudkip. Just hope that Mudkip and Coco can do it. We have to, dude. Oh, we still have enough for another potion. We might just we might just have to do two potions, honestly. Yeah. 
F it, bro. Okay, wait, what? Gym leader? I didn't know it could be a gym leader. I thought it was just gonna be a, a boss. All right, all right. Well, you know what? We're doing just fine right now. Fue Coco is carrying us. I'm actually kind of glad it was Charon instead. He doesn't seem... Oh my god, does this dude have a King's Rock? Like, you gotta be kidding me, bro. There we go. The Blaze. The Blaze. Come on, Fue Coco, finish it. Yes! Let's go! Fue Coco! <gasps> Our first evolution, too! Yo! It's Crocolore! Nice. Oh my god. We got an Egg Voucher Plus. I learned about this from Callum's video as well. Apparently the first time you beat any gym leader, you get a special Egg Voucher that's like better than the ones you get later. So like if we ever fight Charon and beat him again, the Egg Voucher we get is not going to be as good as the one we got right now. And also if you don't know, the Egg Vouchers is basically gotcha. So we're going to do some gotcha. Thank you. I feel like I saw a little of the way toward my ideals. What? I don't know. What are you talking about? Wait, what is this? Oh, this is the map. We can choose where we want to go. Grassy field, metropolis, or lake. I'm going to let you guys decide in chat. Whatever chat says the most, I'll pick. What's up, Ice Crusher? Welcome. Yo, Dancing Maractus! Nice to see you again, bro. Long time no see, but I'm happy you're here. I'm seeing a lot of lake. Immediately a ton of lake, but then a couple of Metropolis. Metropolis has electric. He has an electric and grass type, so lake. Wait, we have a water type too. We got we got Mudkip, bro. We have we have all three types. <laughs> Grassy Fields is so good for Crocolore. Oh wait, because this is going to determine like what Pokemon we're going to be fighting. Magnemite can easily sweep. I kind of want a Magnemite, not going to lie. Like if we catch a Magnemite, that would be better than Palmy, surely. Well, maybe. If we evolve Palmy, it might not be bad. But yeah, I'm thinking Metropolis just because it sounds like the most interesting. Yo, no worries, Boosty. If you got to head out, man, it's all good. Chat has been pretty tame. In the latter half of the stream, I think I think I can handle it. Palmot is equal to Magnezone, about. Watch him find Gyarados in the lake. The thing about the lake I'm worried about is like we're not gonna be able to sweep through the wild Pokemon, cause Well, our strongest is Crocolore. I'm gonna go Metropolis. What the heck? What, what why did it do that sound? Yo! The music switch up! Healing sound? No, I meant like the X sound. It went like da da. Alright, well, we definitely want to get Mudkip to level 16. Oh, Incinerate hits both, dude. We might kill this Varum. We probably will kill this Varum, let's be real. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, we can do gotcha now. That's right. Hold up. Because every every level that we beat, uh, we can gotcha. Oh, wait. I already clicked. No. Oh, my God. I thought that was going to kill me. Sorry. I should have done the gotcha before because we just wasted a turn. Not being able to hatch our egg. It's just one turn, though. We'll be fine. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, we're getting some good XP. Okay, can we... No, we can't right now. Ooh, a piece of candy. I'm pretty sure Mudkip just hit 15. So I'm thinking we just rare candy Mudkip right now. Let's do it. I want my Marsh Tomp already, bro. I need it. Bam! 
best Pokemon. We got Finn. And we get Mudshot. Nice. Do I get rid of Rock Smash or Rock Throw? Rock Smash has that chance to lower defense, but all of our rest of our moves are special. Well, actually, no, we have Rock Throw, but we're going to get rid of Rock Throw, so... Oh, maybe we get rid of Rock Smash instead. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of Rock Smash. Although, I guess having the fighting coverage would have been good. What does Pommy even have? Bro, Pommy kind of sucks. I mean, Pikachu, Pikachu at least has Sweet Kiss. Sweet Kiss came in clutch against that throw. We go for uh, Snivy. Snivy could use some levels. Okay, let's do the gotcha though. From this screen, you can redeem your vouchers for Pokemon eggs. Eggs have to be hatched and get closer to hatching after every battle. Rare eggs take longer. Hatch Pokemon also won't be added to your party, they will be added to your starters. Pokemon hatched from eggs generally have better IVs. Some Pokemon can only be obtained from eggs. There are three different machines to pull from with different bonuses, so pick the one that suits you best. You know I'ma go for the shiny machine. So yeah, we have 10... Wait, we have what? What? What is this? We have a 1 times 25 pulls? I'm guessing because this is a new account, or like it's my first time playing, everybody gets this from starting. Is it worth it to do this this early? You have 15 pull? Wait, so th 10 pulls means we get 10 eggs or... Oh, we don't have one. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, I thought this meant how many we have. Okay, so we have zero golden tickets. We only have one of these. Which means we get five pulls, I think? Okay, so you can use 10 of these at once, basically. But this is like a one times ticket. Okay, so we only get five pulls, basically. Alright, well, let's go for it. But does that mean we get five eggs? Oh, it does! Yo, this is so sick! The animation, the sound effect. Oh, man, we got... Come on, one. give me one rare egg. Yo! We got a rare egg! Literally, I summoned it into existence! I freaking spoke it into existence, bro. Does this mean our eggs are already hatching? Okay. So these take 10 turns, I think? Or is it 5? And I think this one will take a little bit longer. Commons are 10. I'm guessing rare is like 15 or 20. Let's go! Are the shinies actually better at all? Well, the Pokemon themselves aren't stronger, but you can get more uh, bonuses, I believe. Like, there's a higher chance that your item will get upgraded or something like that. If you have shinies on your team. Oh, dude, I've heard Covet is OP. Like, there's a chance that Covet can steal my iron, right? That would have sucked if it did. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't. Crocolore kind of took some big damage there. Oh? We got Ultra Balls? Hmm. I'm gonna heal. I think I'm gonna grab the Ultra Balls. I wanna keep catching. Especially if we get that Magnemite. Alright, you guys can stay in. This should be easy. Easy dub right here. Wait, what? He used Thunder Wave on his own partner? Pikachu, you're trolling, bro. Why did you do that? What the hell? <laughs> alright, alright. Oh, is it because it has guts? Does Lillipup really have guts? Yo, Nuzzle! Let's go! That's a lot better. Or Facade. It could be Facade. You're right, you're right. Ooh, Electro Ball on Pikachu. Not bad. Probably Facade. Oh, we one-shot it. Too bad. I would have actually been down to catch that. We don't have a Lillipup yet. Yeah, 25 is coming soon. Yo! Are you serious, bro? We already have 40%, don't we? Yeah, we have two of these, so that's 40. We're gonna have 100% XP? 
Is that what that means? No, because it's not EXP share. Wait, does the number one mean we have three of these already? Dude, I don't even know. More XP, basically. I'm down for it. I am I am definitely here for it. Alright, honestly, I think an Ultra Ball will catch this thing even at full HP. Yeah, okay. We got Yamper. Uh, I don't think I actually want Yamper. Wait, is it higher level than Pommy? I think it was. And it also has Nuzzle, so... Let's do it. Oh my god, Snivy! Look at how much XP we're getting! This is crazy! We're gonna have freaking three starters by the 25. Or three evolutions, I mean. Maybe, I don't know. I don't think we will. Wait, is 25 next? Is this the round we're about to go into, or is this... What round were we just beat? What's up, Ernie Riddle? Welcome, dude. How you doing? This is the one we just beat or the one we're currently on? Rival is coming. Oh, that is your current. We're going to tw Frick. All right, then I guess we're not getting Superior. Or sorry, Servine. That means I should heal, though. Yo, I need to heal emotes, guys. Come on. Actually, I mean, our team is actually pretty decently healed right now. I don't know if I should still go to full, though. Like, maybe on Crocolore. Just in case. Honestly, yeah, let's just do it just in case. We'll just grab the nugget. Here we go! Redemption time! We got our next rival battle. And she kicks it off with Ivysaur. I'm gonna just hit you with a quick wrapping, you know? Why not? That means she can't escape, right? So now if we switch over to Crocolore, I think the wrap still stays? Oh, never mind. Unless she freed herself, just got that lucky, I don't know. Of course she freaking switches. Oh my gosh, she got Bruxish. But you know what? We got three electric types. Honestly, I'm not that worried. We'll go to Snivy. We're doing the tactics, baby. Oh my god, is she bringing back up? Fletchinger! Yo, okay, hold up. She might go for a flying type move. Maybe... Maybe we bring in Yamper. Let me see. Yeah, she goes for Peck. We go Nuzzle. We survive. Let's go. We get one Paralyze. Are you about to go Ember again? Oh my god, we get burned. Come on. Oh, the Flame Body. That's why. Go Ember again. I dare you. Oh! Oh! The double switch? The triple switch? <laughs> of course she goes Bruxish again, though. I mean, I should have expected that, actually. I should have switched myself again. But it's fine, bro. We just keep switching. We literally just keep switching on him. I'm gonna go for a wrap, too. Because I know you're switching out again. Let's go for that. Oh, my God. Come on. Really? Now everybody's burned. Unlucky. Unlucky. Oh, I should have gone for Ditto. Okay, so I guess when we switch, we do free it from the wrap. I want to go Ditto because I want to transform into this thing. And since it's paralyzed, we're obviously faster, so... Oh, yo, can we go Flail? Maybe I should go Peck first, though. We can definitely survive another attack from it. Bro, we're slower? You're kidding? You're paralyzed and I'm still slower? Alright, F it. F's in the chat for Ditto. <laughs> oh my god, that sucks. We're honestly fine, though. Well, maybe. I, th I think we're doing okay. Are you bringing Ivysaur? Come on, bro. I should have gone for Rock Throw. It's kind of annoying. We're just constantly swapping, man. We just gotta keep swapping. That's the, that's the strat. Look, now we go Crocolore again, and she's gonna go for Fletchinger. But it's fine. We still insane. Oh, she's gonna go Bruxish, actually. But now we know she's going Bruxish. So, boom! Take that super effective... Thing is though, I still I have to save Crocolore to take down Ivysaur, so now we go Marsh Tomp. Finish this thing off with a rock throw. Oh my god, we miss. You gotta be kidding me. Good thing this game has like that speed up. Oh, she's not switching anymore. Yo, she gave up on the switching strats. Let's go! 
Incinerate! You're done for! Oh my god, she is so done for. Don't even matter what you send out now. It's over. It's over for you, girl. Damn, look at this experience! Oh my god! Yo, Pikachu's also gaining crazy levels. I wish we kept Snivy alive. Do I want the faint? I don't think I want the faint, to be honest. You're done for! <laughs> Redemption, yes! We actually did it, guys. Oh my god, we even get Water Pulse. We made it. I apologize if you guys hear any background noise. My freaking neighbor's shower is literally right on the other side of my wall of my office. I have noise canceling. But I don't know, maybe you can still hear it. I have won the bet. Yeah, let me go ahead and close out the prediction. I don't know if the mods are still here, but I can do it. It's all good. Will we get to the rival battle? Oh wait, it was already closed. We made it to the rival battle, so it was yes. We made it, and we did it. <laughs> Let's go. It was 50-50, bro. I wasn't supposed to lose that time. Oh well, that just means I'll have to train even harder for next time. I also got you another one of these. No need to thank me. This is the last one though. You won't be getting any more freebies. What is she gonna give us? Oh, another EXP all, okay. And you guys reminded me that we don't get healed after this battle, so yeah, we gotta- Oh my god, dude. Half my party's dead, we need revive. At least Snivy, so Snivy can keep getting XP. And honestly, I'm kind of eyeing that Earth Power right now for Marsh Tomp. Like, I don't know how much better that is than Mudshot, though. Oh, shoot! Oh, wait. Yo, I didn't know it was gonna instantly use it. I, I didn't heal for Coco. Oh my god, can I back out? Now if I back out, it's... Uh, I mean, that's still, that's so much better than Mudshot, bro. Let's go. Yeah, we can't go back at that point. It's fine, though. It's fine. I'm not mad at all. Okay, maybe a little bit, but... Uh, let's wrap it up. Oh, we get to test out the Earth Power, too. You're dead, son! Are you gonna post highlights here on YouTube? I'm thinking I probably will make a video on this game, for sure. I'm not sure what the video will be. If it's going to be a highlights or like a review kind of thing. But for sure I'm going to make some kind of video about this. Like this game is way too hype right now. For me not to at least make some content about it. We are struggling for money right now though. <laughs> like yeah. I mean we were struggling at the beginning of the game in general. So it makes sense. X speed would be... Probably the best option here, but I do need a heal for Coco or Crocolore, so maybe I just go this and then still grab the XP. Well, I mean, at this point, honestly, we might not even need the XP. I just save money at this point. Yeah, I think the XP for the boss actually, because we got the boss is in four more or three more, so it would last until then. The XP would still be active during the boss. So I think I'm gonna heal up Snivy. Oh shoot! I thought that was the shop! I thought that was the shop! No! I used the free potion! Unlucky, unlucky. <laughs> Obviously that was just unlucky. That wasn't uh oh my god, dude, why does this thing do so much damage? Bro, I just- I might just catch it. I'll be honest, like... It, is, it probably has a higher chance of catching than Frick! Oh, a baton passed. Uh... <laughs> I feel like this thing is gonna kill Crocolore. I probably should have just gone for Bite, though. Hello, Don. How are ya? Come on, man! I knew it. 
I knew it. <sighs> Catching to avoid death is something I do often. It seems like a good strat, to be honest. We just got to YOLO it, bro. I'm going to go Rogue Ball. Like, the Ultra Ball is obviously not working out here. Yes! Yo, that might give us XP to get... Okay, I'm going to just replace Ditto at this point. <laughs> yes! Oh my god! Snivy, you kind of overshot it there a little bit, didn't you? I just wanted you to get 16, but damn, okay. We're going all the way to Servine. Well, beyond Servine, level 18 on this thing. Let's go. Definitely catching to save yourself is, is a very valid strat. We got a free revive right now, too. I feel like we have to take this. I feel like we got to take it. It's so worth it, bro, on Crocolore. This turn, we'll use the... We'll buy a potion. Yeah, this is at least an easy one right here. We just got two freaking rats. Uh, this is my third run of the day, I believe. Poisonous strawberries. What's up, by the way? How you doing? If you get Leech Seed, keep it. Earth Power is stronger, don't forget. True, yeah, it's better than Water Pulse. Having chat for sure helps with this game, too. We're like a collective hive mind of Pokemon knowledge. <laughs> Because you know my Pokemon knowledge only goes so far. Yo! I just realized! We can get Raichu? Hold up. I'm sorry. Before we do this... I can't help but keep looking at my shiny forehead. I can't believe I made you guys sit through that shininess this whole time. There we go. Much better. Also... Banana bread. Mmm. You guys are saying that if I use a Thunderstone, I can't Gigantamax though. Mmm. I wonder if it's worth, worth it then. I would love to get Gigantamax Pikachu, but I don't- how late into the game would we get Gigantamax? What's up, S Uno? Can't believe I didn't notice this earlier. It's a good thing I woke up today and decided to see what Orange was doing. <laughs> nice. Welcome, Uno. Glad you made it to the stream, bro. Pikachu line is mid. Hmm. What Raichu have attacks for levels? Wait, Raichu have attacks for levels? I'm pretty sure in this game, they probably would have made it so Raichu still gets levels. Or sorry, uh, moves. I'm guessing you mean how, like, if you evolve Raichu, it doesn't learn any more moves leveling up? But I'm pretty sure this game would fix that. Could be in two rounds, or it could never happen. Also miss out on a Alolan Raichu. Wait, how do you get a Alolan Raichu? I would love to do a Alolan Raichu. Is it a different item? Because Alol Alolan Raichu is just when you're in Alola. Only on the island. Oh, so we were if we were in island biome and used the Thunderstone. Okay. Well, in that case, I feel like I should pass on the Thunderstone. But then again, the other options are not very good. Honestly, I think I might just go for it. Oh, use the Thunderstone or and press B to pause the Evo? I wish you could save the item. No, don't pass, just Evo and pause the Evo. Oh, because you can just keep pausing it, right? Okay, let's do it. Pikachu's evolving! Oh my god! Wait, wait, oh, okay. <laughs> I thought for a second it was not going to pause. Evolution can be re-enabled from the party screen. So does that mean we can still keep using the Thunderstone on it? 
I don't know how that works, to be honest, but we got another Pikachu. Okay. I guess. Earth power! Get out of here! He can evolve whenever you want to now. Yo, that is a pro tip right there, bro. That's awesome. We got Spark. Is that better than Electro Ball, though? I think more often than not, it will be. Unless... I mean, if we had Raichu, maybe Electro Ball is better, because we're faster. But right now, as a Pikachu... I don't know. I think I keep Electro Ball, actually. Ooh, Helping Hand. For double battles, that's pretty good. This man has stored power, too. I think I'm gonna get rid of Baton Pass. I mean, stored power is not good unless we get, like, Calm Mind on it or something. Which we don't have right now, so... Okay, let's see. We got a Hyper Potion. We could heal up Marsh Tomp for free. Yamper right now is just... dead. For the last, like, seven turns. Light Screen might not be bad, actually. Hmm. Boss next turn. Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe... Maybe we go Light Screen. Depends on what the boss is, to be honest. So let me just heal first. Thank you guys for the heal reminders. As usual, I need him, bro, for sure. And I think I am going to give Ndidi Light Screen. We don't need Yamper, bro. We'll be fine. Let me get rid of the stored power, too. Nice. Oh, it's a boss cast form. What? Alright, I mean, cast form usually just weather balls, which is a special attack, so... I'm gonna throw that up. Immediately, and of course you have a physical move. <laughs> you son of a gun. Maybe we confuse it, though. No, okay, whatever. My man's just going headbutt. Love it. Unfortunately, we got rid of Rock Smash earlier. So we don't have, uh... Oh my god. Oh my god, the special attack, Rose! Bro, this thing is doing big damage right now. Okay, we're going Earth Power. Come on, Marsh Tomp. Okay, we might be fine. Even if Marsh Tomp dies. Wait, I don't want Marsh Tomp to die, though. Oh, wait, but all the XP would go to Servine. Oh, we can also catch it. I forgot we can catch these things. Hey, let's go. Adaptability cast form. Wait, how come it doesn't have adaptability? It has forecast! What the hell? Bro, I for sure caught adaptability. What? <laughs> That's its passive ability? Oh! Interesting. Hey, we got the Leech Seed. You guys were saying for sure not to pass up on this, so I think I get rid of Tackle. Growth might still be helpful, probably not. But we'll get rid of that later. We got another charm, and we get the free heal. Nice. Ooh. The music is getting a little bit sneakier. I don't even know what this is from, but I like it. Yo, I'm kind of surprised that did that little damage. Do I want to catch Trubbish? Isn't there a Gigantamax Trubbish? Is that a thing? Am I- am I tripping? I'm pretty sure there's a Gigantamax Garbodor. There is. Okay. G-Max Garbodor sounds pretty cool. But I don't know if I actually want it on my team. Like, this cast form? Where do you see the passive ability, by the way? I guess maybe you can only see it in that other menu. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I don't think this cast form is really gonna be that helpful. <laughs> I think maybe we, we grab the Trubbish. Unless it has like insane IVs or something. No, its stats are not even that great. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm get the Trubbish. Don't forget you can transfer items on the reward screen. What items do we transfer? <gasps> oh? Our first egg is hatching! And we got Snubble! 
Nice. Perfect max HP. Perfect IV, I mean, on the four HP. You know what I'm trying to say. Doesn't this mean we get four eggs? Because we put them all incubating on the same turn? Yup. We get four hatches in a row. And we got NK. Almost perfect special attack. That's pretty good. Well, actually, doesn't NK use more physical moves? With, like, contrary? I don't remember. Yo, what? Bombardier? That's kind of random. But let's go. Jolly Nature, too? That's, that's, uh, I don't remember if this thing is physical or special, but. We get a special egg move, too. Sky attack. And finally, we got a young goose. Perfect speed and almost perfect special attack. Strong jaw ability. Is that normally what it gets? That thing also had swords dance. God damn. Contrary is huge. Yup. Did it actually have contrary? I didn't check. But if it did, I'm definitely using that on the next run. All right. I think this is looking like a super lure kind of run or select. But wait, you guys were telling me about that you can switch the items. I don't actually have any held items though right now. Or it would show them here, right? Oh, it did? Hell yeah. What's up, Noah? Transfer? Oh, transfer. I see it now. What can I transfer though? I don't have anything. You do have them? No one has any items, bro. What? Literally, no one has items. What are you guys talking about? Oh, apricot berry, I guess. <laughs> Isn't it supposed to be apricot? Apricot berry? Apricot berry. What does that even do? Oh, no, it is apricot. What the hell? I never knew that. Apricot berry raises special defense when the holder drops to one fourth. Okay. What happened to the stone? Pikachu doesn't hold the stone. He's just got it on him. All right, I guess I'll give this to uh, Crocolore. Oh, there's another apricot berry right here. <laughs> All right, I think honestly we need to just save money right now. So I'm just not going to use Trubbish and we'll go for the lure. And your cast form had a white scarf. Well, you know, maybe I should have done that before I released him. Oh my god, Vulpix, but it's on a trainer. Oh? Bringing out the mass chip? Okay. I don't know why you did that. You're gonna die anyway, but okay, okay. This is also why pickup is so good. Yeah, it's making a lot more sense now. Like, if we had a pickup Pokemon, we can just trade the items to someone else whenever it picks them up. Which I think Yamper can potentially have pickup, but I don't think mine even did. I don't want stockpile, bro. I don't want I don't want swallow either. I don't want none of that. What's up, Ryrin? This is Pokey Rogue. You can play it at pokeyrogue.net. The name is in the title of the stream, so just go to pokeyrogue.net. Yo, what about PP? Because that thing just used spite on me. Does that mean until we go to the Pokemon Center, we're not going to have, like, that PP back? Or does PP reset? I haven't been paying attention to that, but I guess we'll see. You don't have to take the pickup items of the mod with pickup. Hmm. There are ethers. Oh yeah, we have ether right here. Okay. I think I take the ultra balls here though. I mean, I'm doing fine on HP. Literally that battle, we didn't even take damage. And I just want to save my money right now, so. Ooh, that thing is bug and steel, I believe, so. Incinerate! I don't want a Wormadom anyway. Damn, we're getting so much XP, bro. This is crazy. We also got Snarl. Which does like about this, well, five less damage than Bite. Bite also has a chance to flinch, though. I think I keep the Bite. 
Mega Drain, yo! Okay. I mean, Magical Leaf does more damage, but... I'll take both. It'll be nice to be able to heal ourselves up. Yeah, I know Crocolore is more of a special attacker, but right now, he's kind of even. Kind of same special and physical. Increases critical hit ratio. Mm. Mm. Why not? I think we stay in on this thing. Let me actually check Crocolore's stats anyway. Alright, never mind. You know what? Maybe the Snarl would have been better. <laughs> Maybe it would have been better. But it's fine. We're probably not going to keep Snarl until the end anyway. Okay, thank goodness no Flincherino there. Follow me! No. But you guys can follow me on all my socials that I never post on. Uh, take down. Oh, this thing has Toxic Spikes! I heard Toxic Spikes is really good in this game. Because once you set them out, it lasts for a couple of turns. I don't think I want takedown though. Bro, I'm just waiting for the freaking G-Max item. <laughs> That's all I want. Should I Super Potion up? I think the free heal on Crocolore. At this point, like, the Rare Candies are not really making that big a difference. Rare Candies seem really good early on, but... At this point, they're not doing much. We got a Coughing. You already know. If you ever want to check the summary on the reward screen, use transfer. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good idea, because you can't actually check your summary otherwise. When you're in this screen, at least. Yeah, you can't, like, you can't press start, so. If you do this... Oh no, you can't. Bro, you can't check your summary from here anyway. What you mean, Jonas? Unless I'm tripping. But at least it's not letting me click summary. Yo, we got calcium! Ho, oh, whoa, whoa! That is for sure going on Crocolore. How long does that last for? This is not the calcium, right? I think the calcium's permanent. We're keeping Didi in. But I'm gonna take out Servine. Yeah, it is permanent. Nice. Permanent. Doesn't Rock Slide hit both? Yeah. Not that we need to, because that Grimer just got destroyed. I feel like I should be catching more Pokemon. What do you guys think? I mean, I'm pretty sure I picked up more Ultra Balls at some point. Dire hit. Raises speed if below 25% HP. <laughs> I feel you, Omega. You gotta focus up, man. Look, you could just mute the stream. Just leave it going on mute, bro. <laughs> but I feel you. Good luck. Godspeed. You select transfer, then grab the apricot, and then select them on, and then summary should pop up. Okay, okay. Yeah, let me go for the dire hit. Ooh, stunky. Stinky. Stunky. It's about to say, if this thing doesn't die, I'm gonna catch it. And we flinch. God damn. Okay, you know what? Just for that, bro, you dying. How dare you flinch me. The EXP gain is kind of crazy right now, though. Not gonna lie. Expanding force? Isn't that, like, really good on Ndidi? Or am I thinking of something else? Hold up, I gotta check, I gotta check. Expanding force. Oh, no, it's on Psychic Terrain. 
I mean, it's not bad. If indeed he had its hidden ability. What's up, little Uzi Herb? <laughs> That's a dope name, bro. I don't know if this is better than Psybeam. It might be, because Psybeam is like unreliable. Maybe. Maybe we just go for the lure, though. We still have one lure, but I could use more double battles. Oh, wait, we have Psy Wave? Do you have Psy Wave or Psy Beam? Oh, we have Psy Beam. Okay, never mind. Definitely going for this. I thought we had Psy Wave. Yo, Galarian Linoon? That's kind of dope. I was not expecting that. Alright, let's hit it with some Magical Leaf. I definitely want to catch this thing. Now we Mega Drain. Nice. I don't think we need the Rogue Ball for this. Let's go. I don't even think I'm going to add it onto the team though. But, I mean, for the Pokedex. Not that we can even... Wait, we can't even have... Z like, Lionoon is not a starter, right? Only Zigzagoon would be. But still, I guess it's nice to catch it. Maybe. But I'm not gonna lie, Snivy, you're not learning very good moves. Like, I'm hoping we're, we're holding out for the late game. Also, this thing's not even contrary. If this was contrary, you know, you can do the Leaf Tornado strat, but... I don't know, right now it's not, it's not looking too good with the moves. It's a good catch because now you can choose what form it has. Oh, that's awesome, okay. So we can pick uh, Galarian Zigzagoon at the start at least. That's nice. Oh my god. Am I learning Roar? Nah. Sludge Bomb, already? Dang. Okay, Trubbish. What's up, XX Soft? Welcome. Glad you could make it. Alright, let's definitely heal up on this turn, though. I don't know if I should go for the... Well, I mean... The Nugget's worth, like... Five or six potions, so... Definitely worth it to just use these and... Then get the Nugget. Yeah, I know. I've... Look, I picked Snivy at the beginning because I was like, Snivy doesn't get enough love. But honestly, I can see why it doesn't get enough love now. <laughs> Unless it had Contrary, then it might actually do something, but it's not going to do much right now. No, I don't want Takedown. Bro, we're actually... Okay, I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to jinx it. What I will say is, we're getting pretty close to our final starter evolutions. That's dope. We'll grab another lure right there. Ooh, let's test out the expanding force, since we have a boss coughing right now. Get him! Oh my... Bruh! He had two HP bars. Expanding Force said, not today. <laughs> That's crazy. I didn't even know you could just blast through both HP bars like that. I thought it would automatically reduce the first and then you'd have to hit it again still. Holy. Indeedy. <laughs> that was crazy. All right. Let's see if this one shots again. Yep. Wait till this man has to fight the Pokemon with 10 HP bars. Look. I'm waiting for it, okay? The user faints. No, what? Why would I want that? I was binging your Pokemon Obsidian series when I saw you were live. Yo, that's awesome. Obsidian. That's a name I haven't heard in many moons. But a very cool ROM hack for sure. The only Pokemon I remember from that one is Koki Smash. The Tiki Pokemon was really cool. 
I don't want that Grimer, but might as well grab one for the decks. Indeed, he's so broken. Yeah, bro, I'm so glad we caught that thing. And I guess I'll take another Nugget. We don't need the Dire Hit right now. Oh, finally, we got Magnemite. Bro, I've literally been waiting this whole time to catch a Magnemite. Not that we really even need it at this point, though. I definitely want to keep Pikachu, because I want that G-Max. <laughs> For a second, I thought that might still one-shot it, just because of how OP Expanding Force seems to be, but I'm glad it didn't, because now we got Magnemite. Is it worth it replacing Pikachu with Magnemite, or do we just keep holding out hope? that we get the G-Max Pikachu. No, I have not encountered a Legendary yet. You're usually my work background noise. Appreciate that, man. I always think the opposite, like I'm too loud and too annoying, <laughs> but I'm glad that you guys think different. Magnezone better, hold out with the Chew. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like Magnezone probably is better, but I want the G-Max Pikachu, bro. I want it, and I believe we're going to get it. So, goodbye, Magnemite. Watch us get it right now. That'd be insane. Okay. <laughs> I try to manifest it right there, but I guess I'm not that mystical. Oh, another one. Okay. At this point, I think we just put all our eggs into... Well, actually, I should have used Crocolore. I should definitely prioritize Skeledurge. But with all the EXP shares we've got, like, we're gonna get both eventually. Ooh, Toxic? Bro, this Trubbish is slowly getting pretty good. I think I, ke I keep the Amnesia. That could be useful for, like, a boss. Hmm. Are lures still worth it at this point? What do you guys think? What do we have right now? We don't even- we have one super lure still. I mean, if you get a double battle, it's literally double XP. So I guess lures might actually be good all game. They really want you to take this dire hit, that's true. I don't know why it gave me this. Yeah, I want either a Lolan Raichu or G-Max. We'll just hold out. Fun fact, you can evolve Pikachu in the middle of a battle, so if you just need a bit more power, you can choose to evolve right then and there. Yo, that's dope. You need Dynamax Band and Max Mushrooms? Oh, man. Now, we'll see, Ryu Nicholas. Now, we'll, we'll hold out. <laughs> There's a lot of luck that we need, but... Let me just go for... Uh, you know what? They seem to want me to use this, so... F it. Ooh, we got trainers now. Is it just random when it becomes trainer battles? Or are there like certain floors where it's like guaranteed trainer battle versus wild Pokemon? From what I've noticed, they at least like... When you start getting trainer battles, it like keeps doing them after. But I think it might be random. So how do we deal with this Trubbish? Or sorry, Gumi. I guess we just Earth Power it. I would have loved to catch a Gumi, but it's on a trainer. Alright, bro. Come on. What are you doing? Like, I think right now it's going to be another trainer. Guaranteed, maybe. Ooh, Discharge. Yo, we can hit both now? That's very clutch in double battles. I like that. Oh, Leaf Blade! Okay, finally you got something good! I mean, not really, but I'll take it. And Crocolore gets Flamethrower too? Bro, we just got so much in this one turn. That's crazy. I should have probably kept Incinerate though, because it hits both in a double battle. Uh, I might end up regretting that. We'll see though, we'll see. X-Attack. I mean, 
is just a regular potion. I guess I'll take the X attack. But I feel like maybe we should heal up Marsh Tomp too. What's up, Draco? I hope in Legend ZA we get more Gen 5 Megas. All we have is Audino. Oh wait, I just realized. It was literally just one trainer battle, and then we're back to wild Pokemon. I thought it was like, once you start getting trainer battles, it's, it's guaranteed to be a few trainer battles in a row. But I guess it is completely random. Or just certain floors. Or maybe like every 10 floors, like a certain amount have to be trainers or something. I don't know. This is a hidden ability, Magnemite, though. Let's go. Or maybe not hidden ability, but we didn't have sturdy yet, so might as well catch it. But yeah, I am definitely down for more Mega Evolutions. Yo, Surf? For Marsh Tomp? Oh, hell yeah. I guess the only bad thing about that is I think it might hit our own Pokemon in a double battle. But like, if we just put in Servine, I'm sure Servine can handle it. Ooh, we got Magneton now. Ah, too bad. You're gonna die, son. Is there a benefit to catching the evolution? Oh, it had a berry. Is it gonna give it to us? Because we beat it? Ooh, Amnesia? Hold up. That might be kind of good. I don't often use Protect either. Ah, uh, you know what? I'll probably regret that too, because in Double Battles, Protect is clutch. And I doubt that there's a Move Relearner in this game. <laughs> but like... Belch? Oh, never mind. We gotta eat our berry. Well, actually, we do still have that berry, but like, I don't think this is worth keeping. I think the only benefit to the evolution is their IVs update for the starters, but that's it. Okay. I see, I see. Yeah, you can play this on your phone, Swifty. Just go to pokerogue.net. I'm debating this belch, but then again, we only have the one berry, and after we use it, I'm pretty sure the berry's gone forever. Oh? Our rare egg is finally hatching? Yo! <laughs> That is the last Pokemon I was expecting, bro. Ice Q. With the triple axle. I don't even like Ice Q that much. I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't think... I don't know why I'm so hyped about that. I guess just because it's rare. Not even. I don't know. I'm going to keep saving my money. Nothing that crazy is coming up. I don't think. Let's go for the lure. I spoke too soon. We do got something crazy. Please don't one shot. Please don't one shot. Please don't one shot. Come on. I doubt we'll one shot it actually. What am I saying? Okay. Dude, Excadrill is crazy. I probably should not have used my Rogue Ball on it. I think that was a bit overkill. Like, the Ultra Ball probably would have done it. But wait, I don't. Dude. Oh, man. This is where the game starts getting tough. I don't know if I want to replace any of these Pokemon. I mean, let's be real. Servine is not doing much right now. Servine is serving nothing. But... Hmm... Also, this Excadrill is Sand Rush, not Mole Breaker. I don't know if we really want it. Well, with the sand rush, that is. Because we don't have any other sand or sandstorm people. I mean, I guess it can set it up by itself. Are you even using Trubbish? No, but I'm holding out that we can get the Gigantamax. We can potentially get Gigantamax Pikachu or, G or Garbodor. I think I'm going to replace Servine. It's about to evolve, though. True. Damn, do we just let go of Pikachu? Like, honestly, I have not used Pikachu once. Have a good night, Chahine. Chahine. 
I don't I still don't know, but I'm sorry. I hope you have a good night. Yeah. I'll just get rid of the Pikachu. Nah. We're getting rid of Servine, bro. <laughs> Last second decision. And we get Marsh Tomp. Yo! I mean, we get Swamper. What am I even saying at this point? There it is! R.I.P. the Leech Seed. I am immediately regretting my decision. Unless we get Gigantamax Pikachu right here. <laughs> Wait, nasty plot though. Can't Crocolor learn that? If Crocolor can learn that, huge. If he can't learn it, not as huge. Also, why am I not going Super Potions at this point? We got a boss battle coming up soon. No! Why? Come on, man. Really? That's sad. Why the frick can't he learn that? Does Skeledurge learn it? Oh no, I guess Skeledurge doesn't learn Nasty Plot at all. It's kind of weird. I, I, I could have sworn that it does. But I guess not. Procolorn learns an even better version. That's true. When we get Torch Song, we'll be fine. Alright, we're giving it to Pikachu then. Look, we chose to keep Pikachu, so at this point, we gotta put all our eggs into Pikachu. Probably shouldn't have gotten rid of Iron Tail, but... I mean, we have Excadrill now, so... It's fine. Alright, you are both Giga Dead. Nah, no, we're holding out, Chibi. This is the whole point of Pikachu right now. We're holding off. We're holding out. Yo. Wait, this move's power goes up and damages all opposing Pokemon on Psychic Terrain. Hmm. Is there any way we can get, like, um, hidden ability later on? Because if we can get Psychic Surge on Ndidi, that would be huge! You might not even get the G-Max Band, look. Look, I know, but we just gotta hope. <laughs> this is always my downfall in roguelikes. Oh, yo, speaking of rogue, we got the rogue balls, let's go! Round 49! Next up is going to be another boss. Hmm. Isn't this thing fairy? Yeah. So, Excadrill not being healed up is actually kind of, kind of sad. I'm just going to go surf. Wait, did I just miss? What? Oh, is there not a surf animation? <laughs> All right, we hit the level cap on Swampert, damn. Oh, and we get Thunderbolt, but nah, Discharge in the double battle. Oh, I guess we'll keep both. At this point, the play nice is not. Oh, let's go, Crocolore. I see you. Finally, we got Skeledurge. I think you have animations turned off. No, I have them all on, I'm pretty sure. What's up, Mega Dog? Ashley Hauntus, how are you doing? There is a way to change ability, even into hidden ability. Can you do it mid? run or is it only like when you're starting off a new run what's up guffy gulf or guffy guff how are you all right i think i get rid of leer at this point i'm just we need shadow ball now and we're set oh my god trubbish is evolving too yo <laughs> i didn't even know what level this dude evolved at but now we got double chance of g max 
Not really. I, I don't think our chances are any higher. <laughs> I'm honestly, I'm just keeping Garbodor for the toxic spikes. Even though we haven't used them yet, we'll make use of them maybe right now, actually, because the boss is coming up. Oh, I should have set them up during this battle, actually. Because I think they, they stay even until the next turn. Okay, well, we're going to full heal up both of you. Or sorry, super potion. I think maybe we go regular potion on Indeed. Nah, Indeed is fine. Oh, we get a free potion too, but no, I'm going to go super lure. Yo! We got another gym leader. Why does this man have a mankey? Are you kidding? <laughs> Wait, Indeedee's half normal type, but come on, it's a mankey, bro. <laughs> My dude just close combated. That's crazy. Okay, at least we're faster. That was nutty, bro. I was not expecting the close combat, that's for sure. But what else you got? Polyrath? Oh, Primate. Are we still faster than a Primate? Like, how fast is Ndidi anyway? 70 speed? That's actually second highest on our team. We might be faster than this Primate. Nope. Well, I guess I underestimated the Primate. Oh wait, but Skeledurge- Oh, this thing has assurance, bro. I'm stupid. I gotta say, Skeledurge can tank up fighting moves, but we literally just saw it had assurance. And also, if his last Pokemon is Polyrath... Oh, it's Polyrath, isn't it? Yup. My man! At least we still get the Torch Song buff. But, like, all we can do is Flamethrower. I guess we can go Round? Nah, Round is not gonna do that much damage. 60 power. I'm sure that Flamethrower would do more. But it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Uh, is it gonna go? It's gonna go for a water move, so let's go for a Swampert. It goes Hypnosis! Okay. That's interesting. Oh my god! And it confuses me! Come on! Come on, man. Alright, that kind of sucks. But we know it's gonna Dynamic Punch, so... I don't even know what I do at this point. Oh, it misses! Let's go! Wait, does it not have a Water-type attack? Dude, it might not have a Water-type attack. <laughs> I don't think he has a Water attack! I think we're set! We're straight! Let's go! I'm gonna just keep setting up Torch Song then. No! You son of a gun. I mean, I think we're fine though. Yeah, it literally only has Hypnosis. What does it do? Wait, it woke us up with Hypnosis? I don't think Hypnosis works as intended, guys. <laughs> and we get Shadow Ball. Let's go. That was kind of kind of random, but I'll take it. Get another special attack raise, which means this primate is done for. Flamethrower! Hell yeah. Chuck, more like... I'm not going to say that word. <laughs> Just take the, the H out. The H is silent in his name. Oh, what is this? Dojo or power plant? Hmm. And gotcha time. That's right. Can we do it right now? No, we can't. We got to pick first. All right. I'm going to let you guys pick in the chat. Let me actually throw up a poll real quick. You guys can vote if you want dojo or power plant. How do we do a poll? I know we can do a poll on YouTube. Start a poll. There we go. All right. Which one? Dojo power plant. I have to go use the bathroom real quick, but while I go, you guys can go ahead and vote. There's a poll on YouTube. I would do it on Twitch too, but I gotta go pee.
Hello. I am streamer. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh yeah. Mac is all grown up. He big big boy. Alright, you guys picked power plant. 54%. Damn, that was pretty close. I guess that makes sense for our team though. We have uh two ground types. Nice strawberry. Welcome to the to the YouTube side of things. <laughs> This game will truly be a 10 out of 10, only if it has Voltorb Flip. For real, dude. It just needs Voltorb Flip. That's all it needs to be a 10-10, actually. That is literally all we need. Alright, we're going Power Plant. I'm guessing that means more electric types? Oh my god! What is this music? This is not from Pokemon? Unless it's from like a side game. Oh, gotcha, that's right. It's gotcha time. We get five more pulls. I'm just gonna keep going shiny. I want shiny Pokemon. Even though we wouldn't actually be able to use it in this run, even if we got one, we would have to wait until the next run. But come on, give me one rare at least, man. Really? Sad. Yeah, that was kind of crazy. Only 2% actually. It was 52% for the power plant. I mean, we might still get a shiny though. Just no rare eggs, but definitely could still be shiny. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. I've actually yet to play that. That's like one of the only Mystery Dungeon games I haven't played. But I'm saving it. I know, I know people say it's like one of the best. I'm saving it one day where we'll do a stream of it for sure. Like we did Pokemon Conquest. Hey, yo, I went for Dig. Does that mean we still get to catch this thing? It's probably gonna get one shot if we don't. Oh wait, what the heck is happening? Oh, okay. I'm gonna go for the Rogue Ball. Hopefully it just catches. Oh my god. Wait, why is he still Dig? What? He still Dig? What? Two tur he's been in dig like two turns. <laughs> okay. I guess. I don't want Palmot though. Even though at this point, I should definitely just get rid of Pikachu, bro. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still holding out hope, to be honest. Ooh, look at that. We got more items now. And we got a choice of four. All these kind of suck though. Like, I guess we go rare candy, but honestly. Yeah, I guess we'll do Skeleturge. Yo, why is Excadrill still underground? What is he doing? <laughs> there we go. He finally popped out of the mole hole. I don't know what took this man so long. But he's learning Swords Dance now. That's clutch. Horn. We have Horn Drill. Are you kidding me? No. What's up, Squid? If you want to sweep through the first hundred floors, use Power Up Punch, Nimble, or Double Kick and Low Kick Flamigo. I heard that uh, Nimble is pretty good as a starter. I don't have one yet though. Hey, yo! Now we get Calm Mind. Are you kidding? We should have kept Stored Power. Imagine we still had stored power. I mean still calm mind is not bad. I Just don't know if I want psychic or keep expanding force. I feel like there's a chance we might get its hidden ability But then again, I've been saying this whole time we're holding out for G max and that hasn't happened. Oh pain split Yo This Garbodor is kind of crazy. I just I've literally not been using it for some reason. Well, I know the reason is I suck. What do we got? Lure, Shore. Oh my god, Plusle! You're so cute! 
Too bad you're gonna die. I don't even know why I went for Swords Dance. But <laughs> it still did the animation, even though it doesn't affect. Okay. Also, do we keep our Swords Dances? Like, into the next battle? How does that work? Oh, Dedede! That's cute. I don't know if we keep our Swords Dances, but in case we do... I'll just go big again. What are you doing, bro? You can use Memory Shroom to relearn store power. Oh, okay. So there are, there are items to relearn moves, too. Okay. All right, let's go Ultra Ball. Probably not gonna catch, but uh, never mind. We got Dedene. Do we just get rid of Pikachu for Dedene? <laughs> nah. No way Dedene is gonna be that much more helpful. Now, if I find a way, way stronger electric type, then maybe. Because I, I think um, we got another Thunderstone. What happens if we use another Thunderstone? We already have one on Pikachu. Oh, welcome back, Omega. That trainer calling us a monster is 100% valid. My Blaster survived an attack on 6 HP, then the Random Berry activated gave me plus 6 special attack, and you dodged 4 Hurricanes in a row. That's crazy. Clutched it out, bro. What's up, Kakarot? That's an awesome name, bro. Respect. The game's trying to tell us something. <laughs> That'd be crazy if it did become Mega Pikachu. I've heard there's fusions in this game, but... I think that's a little different than Mega Pikachu. Oh, it's a rival battle! Long time no see! Still haven't lost, huh? You're starting to get on my nerves, just kidding. <laughs> but really, don't you miss home by now? Or me? I mean, I did miss you, not gonna lie. I support you in your dream and everything, but the reality is you're gonna lose sooner or later. And when you do, I'll be there for you like always. Now let me show you how strong I've become! Okay, she kicks things off with Venusaur, which sucks because... We have to switch. I mean, it's probably gonna go for a grass move, right? Actually, we could go into Garbodor and set up the Toxic Spikes. Oh, she switches too! What the hell? Okay. I mean, I think Garbodor can tank this thing, or at the very least just set up the Toxic Spikes for the rest of her Pokémon. But then again, she's shown us a Venusaur and a Talonflame, which obviously neither of those can get hurt by the Toxic Spikes, so... I'm just gonna go for the Toxic. Look, this is why we had Garbodor. Finally, he's gonna do something, alright? Maybe. Oh god. Speed sharply rose. Yo! I'm just gonna keep pain splitting then. Oh my god, we're dead. Oh, we're alive! Yo, Garbodor, let's go! I think we can finish it off with a sludge bomb now. Nice! And we got two speed raises, so whatever the next Pokemon that comes out, we can literally suck the HP out of it. I don't want Muddy, muddy Water, we already got Surf. Oh my god, the levels though. Hyper Voice too. Let's get it. The garbage Pokemon is actually doing something. I know. Crazy. Look at that. The toxic spikes kick in. And now we can just pain split it. <laughs> okay, actually the pain split didn't do as much as I thought it would. It's alright. Garbodor put in work. Spe especially with the toxic spikes. That's clutch. Now we can just go Excadrill. Oh my god, really? Sending in the Bruxish. I see you. Could have gone for... Do we have Bite actually on this thing? No, not Bite. I don't know why I thought we had a Dark move. But nah, man. We're going back to Swampert now. Oh my god, that thing hurts. Oh, because we're half water. Or ground, so that's neutral effective. I think an Earth Power will finish it, though. Come on. Come on, Swampert! Let's go! That's my boy! Now who's she going for? The Venusaur! <laughs> it still said the Toxic Spikes hit it, even though, obviously, it didn't. 
So now we bring out Skeledurge. And it's time for the Torch Song Sweep. Except she goes back to Pupitar, but it doesn't matter really. <laughs> it's still dead, okay. Nice. We get the special attack race too, which means this Venusaur is absolutely screwed. I don't think this thing has thick fat either, so... You're done for, son! Man, it's crazy how much harder the level 25 battle is versus this one. At this point, our Pokemon are so much more stacked, though, that I guess it makes sense, but still... Or our team is stacked, I mean. Only Mega Venusaur has thick fat? Oh, my B. <laughs> I thought it was hidden ability. Wait, what is Venusaur's hidden ability? Solar power or something? No, oh, that's Charizard. Chlorophyll. Raises speed and sun. Okay. Well, we did it! Uh, unfortunately, we don't- Wait, we got stored power back! Wait, we don't even have to do the memory shroom then. The only thing is, this battle doesn't heal us. Or afterwards, so maybe we should... Super Potion... Do we revive Garbodor? Is it... I don't know if it's worth it. I'm gonna heal you up all the way. I'm definitely taking that stored power, though. Maybe we do heal or revive Garbodor. Or maybe not. I don't know. I think we'll be fine until the boss, at least. It costs quite a lot to revive, so I feel like I should save my money. Yes, dude. This is gonna be OP. Call mine plus stored power. I guess I get rid of light screen? We haven't really been using it, to be honest. But then again, we haven't been using helping hand either. But I think helping hand in a double battle would be more useful. Nah, I'm gonna get rid of let's uh, helping hand. We're gonna set up. We're about to get the sweep. Sweep! Sweep! My favorite move in Poke Rogue is Sappy Seed. It's just a physical Leech Seed with 100 base power? What? I've heard that there's new moves, actually. Uh, the, the hidden egg moves, or whatever they're called. That seems OP, though. Yeah, I've heard good things about Magnezone, too. Those aren't new moves. Wait, Sappy Seed is from, like, Let's Go Eevee, right? But I mean that other Pokemon that normally couldn't learn them. That's what I mean by new moves. Um, no, I don't want that. Like, new moves that... for that Pokemon. Are there actually any made-up moves in this game, too, though? Yo, Outrage? I don't know if anyone on my team could use Outrage, though, except Excadrill. I mean, Swords Dance, Outrage, Excadrill sounds pretty insane, but then we get locked into it, which doesn't sound as insane. Oh, did I just re-roll? Bro, I just clicked the wrong freaking button, and we didn't even get anything that good. Oh my god. I mean, at this point, we re-rolled already. We might as well full heal the Skeledurge. I'm pissed. We raced it to 3,000 money, bro. Come on. Oh, we got Raichu now. Yo, Electivire, hold up. Hold up. I want that. I want that Electivire, man. Did I already get rid of Pikachu, by the way? I don't even know. Drill Run? I mean, I mean, yeah, wait, wait, what happens if we get rid of Dig and we're in the semi-invulnerable turn right now? <laughs> I'm actually kind of curious, are we going to break the game? It's probably just still going to use it, because we're already locked in on it. Okay, let's go Ultra Ball. Yeah, I knew that wasn't... Wait, bro, I think we broke our Excadrill. <laughs> I think we legit broke Excadrill. Uh, he's just gone. He's disappeared. 
He's invisible. <laughs> okay, well, he's fine now. Oh no, we killed it! God damn it. I should have known, because I had the torch song stacked up. Ooh, Will-O-Wisp though. Would Will-O-Wisp be worth it over Flamethrower? Because, like, Torch Song does only 10 less damage. Honestly, I think we might get... Might go Will-O-Wisp here. Probably could have gotten rid of Hyper Voice instead. Oh, we get Hex, too. Yo, hold on a minute. Will-O-Wisp Hex? Oh, that was so worth it, then. Electivire would have been fire, I know, man. We made the Excadrill immortal. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Progelio? How you doing, man? Oh my god, it like upgraded like three of our items there. But still, none of them are that good. Except, I guess, the revive for Garbodor? That might be worth it. Just so he gets more experience. We are almost to the boss, so I think... We should for sure set up the... Wait, does Hi Hyper Voice hits both of them? Yo! I'm sure you'll encounter a second Electivire. We'll see, we'll see. Ooh, Gunk Shot! Damn, son! Not the best accuracy, but I think that's worth it, honestly. Well, maybe not. <laughs> We'll see if we end up even using it. Okay, so next round I gotta remember. Level 59, we gotta heal up for the boss. And also I wanna set up the toxic spikes. Oh my god, another EXP all? Don't we already have like all of them though? We have three. Plus this. I think that still stacks then. Do we get a chance still to heal after this battle or not? Nah? I can't remember. Just in case, I'm just gonna... Heal up Garbodor. Bro, it's a freaking mining, really? Okay. We're definitely setting up toxic spikes on this thing. And we get to test out our gunk shot, too. I know we're gonna miss. Oh, we hit those! It doesn't even die, though. Let's go. Oh my god, and you paralyze me? That's annoying. Can we set up two layers of toxic spikes? Is that a thing? Oh. Maybe we can. I don't know if that's actually gonna do like badly poison now for the next Pokemon, but... What's up, Reversal? Yeah, bro, this game is awesome so far. Have you been playing it as well? PP Max. Hmm. This might be worth it for Torch Song. Just so we never run out of Torch Songs. But then again... What are the chances we run out of Torch Song, really? We can always just Ether it. But the other rewards are not that great. I'm just trying to think if there's a better move we can use it on, maybe. Full heal is 900. Hmm. We'll just potion this guy, and then we'll go PP Max. What other attack could we potentially PP Max? I think, I think Torch Song is it. Just so we make sure that's never out. Hey, yo, we did get the, another Electivire. And it's the boss. Let's go. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Excadrill. I mean, unless this thing has like close combat or something. I think we should be fine. I also don't want to one-shot it. I kind of want to catch this thing. Oh my god. How are we so OP? Oh wait, we're 10 levels above it? Bruh. I'm, I didn't even look at the levels. That's kind of crazy. I don't know how we're so much higher level than it though. I guess because of how many XP alls we have at this point. Our eggs are hatching! <laughs> You know, it is what it is. 15k XP. God dang, bro. That's crazy. You got 50 hours already?
Nice. I think I'm like on my third hour. I'm honestly, I, I usually only stream like four hours, but I feel like I could keep streaming this game for like another four, <laughs> but I got plans tonight, so we can't, but we'll definitely be streaming more of this throughout the week. Oh, whoops. This is really fun. Wait, I broke my, my game though. What? Why is it showing my thingies at the top now? Hold up. There we go. Look at all them tabs. No, it's not tabs. Those are my bookmarks. Your EXP gain is actually broken. I know, man. That's crazy. If you don't want to one shot, don't use super effective moves. I know you're right, but I didn't think that would one shot it still somehow. All right, what else we got? Spupa? That's not Spupa. That's Scatterbug. And. Mianfu, okay. Come on, give me something good, please. I mean, okay, at least it's got stamina, but modest nature, really? Oh, we got one more, I forgot. I thought that was it. We got one more. Uh, really? <laughs> we got two Mianfus? Super Cell Slam on that sounds OP? Bro, I didn't even, I don't even, I've never even heard of that. The toxic spikes came back. What the heck? Yeah, apparently the IVs were crazy too. So maybe, maybe we do make use of that Mudbray at some point. Didn't you have a Mudbray named Donkle? Donk, do, a donkey? I think I had a donkey. Body press Mudsdale. All right, you know what? Maybe that Mudsdale actually is crazy. I'm underestimating the Hobie. Super Cell Slam tidy up. Dude, I'm just looking for the shiny. You guys know way more about this than me. <laughs> Apparently the Pokemon we got are OP. But I mean, I'm not really gonna know until the next run. So for now, we keep going. We got Explosion Garbodor? That's a no-brainer. We should have gotten that, duh. What's up, Pokemon YGO? You, br you doing anything tomorrow? Wait, do I know you? <laughs> like in real life? What? Oh, because it's 420, I'm guessing. Yeah, we're going Rogue Balls for this. What is IV Scanner? Was that something we got? Now we stay in on this. Is this Mystery Dungeon music too? This sounds like Mystery Dungeon. It's pretty cute. Right, I'm trying to catch this cleft key. This is nice. Definitely sounds like Mystery Dungeon. Uh, next Yokai Watch episode will probably be on Monday. And then I usually stream Yokai Watch on Wednesdays. So if you want to catch it live, I'll be live on Wednesday. Let's see. We'll try to catch this thing. Do I still have Pikachu on the team? I haven't even been paying attention. I do. Yo, hold up. What does this cleft key have? Play rough, metal sound, torment, flash cannon. It has prankster. Prankster's kind of insane. Oh no, I frick, I pushed the wrong button. I was gonna grab that. I actually wanted that cleft key. Wait, we actually are learning psychic terrain. Bro, this indeed is kind of crazy. I think now we get rid of light screen, finally. We have stored power, expanding force, psychic, terrain, call, mind, like... I mean, I guess it needs a lot of setup. But if we can get that setup... 
We're sweeping. Uh, let me get the lure. I know I wanted to keep Klefki though, bro. I, I pushed the wrong button. I'm sorry. Skeletor is kind of OP actually with the- oh my god. What? Nice. Good job, Electrode. Live only on Twitch or YT2? Uh, for Yokai Watch? I mean, it depends. Sometimes I do on YouTube, but usually if I don't stream on YouTube, it'll be only on Twitch. So, make sure to follow both. Um, but just know if I'm not live on YouTube, then I am going to be live on Twitch. So just make sure you're following that. I mean, I'm slowly getting to the setup where I feel like it's easy to just stream on both every time. Um, just before, I didn't have like a good chat that had both. But now I feel like this one's pretty good. This chat thing that I got. Are you gonna explode on us again? No? Okay. Yeah, that's true. You can just have both open. <laughs> you gotta have Twitch open for the seven minute of ads. Alright, we got Earthquake. Let's go. A little scared of this though because Excadrill and Skeleturge have been running things, but I can't really use Earthquake while Excadrill is also on the field. Do I just keep going lures? I mean, at this point, why not? Just keep stacking him. Yeah, I wish you could nickname Pokemon. That's the one thing. I'm sure that they'll, like, implement that in the future, though. That sounds like a feature that they would eventually put in. You should be careful with those suicide trainers. Dude, at least we got Skeleturge. Honestly, if it wasn't for that, I'd be terrified. For me, I feel like Twitch and YouTube, they both have their benefits. Like, Twitch chat, with all the emotes, which I guess if I had YouTube memberships, but even then, I don't, I don't know, YouTube chat just doesn't have, it doesn't hit the same. Uh, but then YouTube player is obviously way better, because you can rewind, and I feel like it just runs smoother. We might die. Oh my god. We actually survive. <laughs> we finally use our berry, bro. We've, we've been holding on to that berry literally since like floor 15. We are also still getting crazy XP. I would definitely need a potion up Skeledurge though. This is where those Twitch emotes come in handy, guys. Or, maybe we just get a free super po- or hyper potion. <laughs> kind of lucky there. Yeah, I'm taking that 100%. Ooh, another clef key. Too bad I still have a million torch songs. Yeah, uh, Levitate or Flying type would be clutch right now. Especially since we have so many lures up. We'll see, because right now we're in the power plant, so we're not really running into many flying types. Uh, I'll take the special D. Imagine they gave Regiram Torch Song. I don't know, in this game, Pokemon have different uh, moves, so it might. <laughs> I, I, I don't think so, but you never know. Not another explosion! <laughs> don't forget rare candies can ignore level cap. Oh! I mean, you say don't forget, but I actually didn't even know that, Jonas. Thank you for letting me know. What's up, Sora? How you doing? Yeah, Twitch used to not allow you to do dual stream. There is still some weird policy about it, but I... I can't remember. But we're fine so far, we're all good. Okay, I want to catch this Clang. I don't know why, Clang is just funny to me. So I think I'm just gonna Swords Dance, just in case. 
Because I know Skeleturge is about to one-shot that thing. Am I the only one that thinks electric type should have been super effective against steel? Because like how metal conducts electricity. Maybe water type because it rusts also. But I mean that would be too, weak, too many weaknesses at that point. Yo, we got the perfect 31 IV. I mean I don't want Clang on the team though. Can't believe we still haven't gotten Gigantamax. This is probably the most tragic thing about this game. <laughs> Wait, what level are we on right now? Oh, dude! 69! We should set up the Toxic Spikes. I know I had the free switch, but I just I didn't realize we were on 69. Like, what is this girder gonna do? Let's be real. He is literally a clown. Like, actually, a clown. And we get the weak armor? Bro, at this point, we should just stack the, <laughs> stack the weak armors. Garbodor is going to be unstoppable. Yo, give me another one, bro. Come on, hit me. I dare you. <laughs> he actually did it, the mad lad. I'm down for that. We can weak armor up. And we still have pain split, so... Oh my god, if I miss though? Okay. We don't miss those! Uh... I'm gonna... I mean, we're gonna pain split with Garbodor, so I'm just gonna go X defense. It's a boss cle- Oh my god, that means the toxic spikes doesn't work. But Pain Split still does. No, it doesn't! Oh my god. Does it not work because it's a boss? Or why? What is going on? Oh my god. Thankfully, I don't have that much. What? Dude, how strong are we? Oh my god. That was a hidden ability clef key or something. It was a gray Pokeball, so it had something special. I'm getting sad, man. I'm getting quite sad. I think we can probably speed up more now. Now that we, we got this strat kind of going, I feel like we can power through the next few floors. Let's see. Four times speed. Yo, let's go all the way. Also, we can put up uh, the XP gain too, right? And HP bar speed too? Alright, let's see how much faster this makes the game. I guess the only problem is I need to pay attention. Oh my god, it's so fast! <laughs> Everything is so fast. I also wish it would show us how many Torch songs we have. Like, I feel like right here it could show, like, your stat raises. Maybe for a future update. Yo, it's Reversal! Oh my god, bro, we got your move! <laughs> I don't think I want that, though, on any Pokemon. I'm gonna go for the lure. Sorry, man. I gotta pass up on you. Oh, dude, I've heard Persian is kind of crazy. We should definitely try to catch this. Oh my god! I think it's crazy because it can get Fake Out and Thief, maybe? Or Covet? Dude, we're gonna kill it though with whatever we go for. Maybe Pikachu? Can Pikachu weaken this thing without killing? Maybe we just sweet kiss it. There you go. You can hurt yourself, bro. I'm a nasty plot up. Come on, hurt yourself, please. Oh, really? You freaking snap out? It's only crazy if it has technician. Well, we don't know if this one does or doesn't. What's like my weakest move, bro? I need something that won't one-shot. Maybe like a non-powered up... Uh... Stored power. 
There we go. Okay, now Rogue Ball, please. Nice. Oh, it just showed the technician. I didn't notice, but hell yeah. Thing has nasty plot too. <laughs> That's kind of random, but sure. No fire blast. Not risking that. Man, we are not getting very good rewards recently, I feel. I mean, I guess we can take the healing. No fake out or payday. Yep. Oh? Oh, wait a minute. I forgot, but I got rid of helping hands, so this is not great. I mean, I can still throw up the psychic terrain. And I don't... I mean, Halucha's probably going to go for a... Fighting move on us, so... Oh, <laughs> there we go. Totally avoid it. Love that. I'm not gonna lie, I think this might be too fast for me now. Let me go, like, three times or something. What's up, Fresh Derp? It'd be so hype if this was, like, a $20 eShop Switch game. What? You're trying to pay for the game? Like, it's literally free. What you mean? <laughs> All right, let's go expanding force now. This should one shot. Maybe. Is is Mammo Swan just locked in on Icy Wind? Also, you can play it on your phone. So if you want to play it portable, you can play it on your phone. But I get you though. It's not it's kind of comfortable playing it on the Switch. Especially if you're like more used to it. All right, bro, we're going to stack up the Calm Minds right now and the Torch Songs. Let's go. I'm surprised this Mamoswine has not Earthquaked. I don't know if it doesn't have it or what. Maybe it's scared to hit its own, like, friend. I don't know, but it's not using it for some reason. Expanding Force hits both. Ooh, okay. Wait. Did we not throw up the Psychic Terrain? I could have sworn we did. I guess we didn't. Oh my god, we get paralyzed? No! Wait, why did it fail? What is going on? I'm kind of confused now. But we're probably going to die. Let me just switch out to Exedrill. And Swamper. Epic. There we go. That's what I like to see. We don't get hurt by anybody. You dead, son. Oh my god, he killed his own partner. Nice. Yeah, for sure this game has to stay free. Literally when you boot up the game, it tells you like, they're not making any money basically. And it is for sure going to stay that way. Oh my god, I forgot about the flying press. Fresh off the press. Comes in flying. Halucha. Also sucks that uh, Rock Slide is not super effective. So I'm just gonna... No, wait. We can't Earth Power. Oh my god. Wait, what do I do here? It's actually kind of tricky. I think I go Garbodor. Maybe just Surf. Garbodor can take a Surf, right? Come on, Garbodor. You're fine. Okay. Yeah, I knew it was neutral. I don't know why I went for it. Oh, dude, we got an achievement. I think that's our first achievement. And a max potion. That is clutch for Ndidi, but let me just make sure. Level 75. I don't know why I feel like a boss battle, or not boss battle, but a rival battle's coming. So I should probably like fully heal everybody. We'll do this on you. Do this on Skeleturge too. We have max potion, not full restore, so maybe we full heal this paralysis. This paralysis is kind of annoying. Hmm. Skeletor just clutch, but only if we set up, so I'm gonna just max potion in DD. Oh my god, what? What? Is this for real? We got Latios? 
I don't have anything super effective against it. Oh yeah, I'm for sure catching this thing, bro. Let's go Pikachu. Maybe we can get a paralysis or something. I, or we just die. I mean, I don't know what I was expecting, to be honest. Uh, I don't have any other status ailments. If only I had Nuzzle. Skeletor is the only one with super effective, but he's paralyzed, so he's gonna insta-die. I guess Excadrill at least resists Dragon and Psychic. So... Let's just go... Maybe Swords Dance, Metal Claw? Because this thing has Levitate, right? Okay, we tank that. Please don't one-shot it. It's not super effective, so I don't think it will. Okay, we got it down. Critical hit. Damn, dude. I don't know. I, I don't know if I want to risk another Metal Claw. I feel like another Metal Claw might kill it. I guess another thing we could do... Is Pain Split? Now oh, we're dead. Okay, never mind. Okay, who can weaken this thing? Indeedee? Please? Maybe? Expanding Force? Get Paralyzed? I love it. Okay, we're fine. We can do one more of these, at least. There we go. Red HP. And we got the Rogue Balls, baby. Come on. No! We're going to lose our whole team doing this, bro. Yo! First Legendary. Let's go! Pikachu, you're finally gone, bro. <laughs> you are so gone, Pikachu. Huge. Absolutely huge. Oh my god. And we even get- wait, he gets experience from himself. I don't even know how that makes any sense. But oh my god, I'm so hyped about that. The music too. Gen 5 music just hits different, man. Oh my god. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hmm. Sorry, I just had to get that. You ever just, you ever just get the urge, you know? You just gotta dance it out. No, is it just me? Okay, anyway. Oh, that was crazy. Definitely need a heal, though. My god, my team is... My team's not looking good. Oh yeah, it might be. There you go. <laughs> I kept the music <laughs> too high. Don't heal. Wait, is it going to heal us? Because it's a boss? Does it heal us after every boss or just every 10 levels? Never mind. Heal. Okay, okay. Yeah, I figured it's every 10 levels. Not, not guaranteed after a boss. Uh, I mean, we got to heal Latios as well. How much does Big Nugget give? 2,000. God damn. I mean, yeah, it's worth it. We just take the Big Nugget. Oh, that was awesome. Oh, so legendaries are random? I thought that was just like a... Not scripted, but like guaranteed boss encounter right there. And there's like a chance it can be legend. Bro, why? Why is... Why? This paralysis is really annoying. That was a 1%? Dude. Crazy. Our luck? I, I would say we had pretty good luck. For it being my very first time streaming this. Alright, let's... Let's lure it up again. And we should switch at this point. I think we need to start setting up with Skeledurge. Oh, never mind. I forgot this thing is dark type. But we, we're out here. We're living. Hydro pump. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Another nugget. Sludge bomb. I mean, I prefer the gunk shot at this point. But I'm definitely... I'm going to take this full heal at this point. And just use the nugget after. 
The nugget literally cancels out that full heal we just did. But I mean, we could also use some some potion, you know. So let's do that. Yeah, we're gonna start torch songing. Even though this is not very effective, I don't know why I did that. Oh my god, you son of a gun! Why would you do that to me, the barrel? Why? This man is really out here. And he survives too? Come on. Just hit him with the disrespect, sir. Use rare candies. The XP is precious. I mean, we have like six EXP shares at this point, man. I think we're all right. Look at how far you've gone. Makes me motivated to catch up. Hey, you can do it. I think I'm only going to go for 15 more minutes, though. I'm going to try to make it to floor 100 and just save there. But we'll definitely be continuing this. Um, I don't know exactly when, but I will for sure be streaming more of this. Thing about rare candies is like, yeah, I think if you don't have a lot of EXP shares or whatever, then maybe they're better. But like, yeah, we have this also, the EXP balance and the EXP all. We have four of them, which gives us 80% bonus XP every battle. I think I'll take the free potion. I mean, it's only super potion though. Wait, what level are we on? 78? We need to revive Garbodor, dude. Ah, uh, I could totally use a revive. But it's so expensive. Maybe next turn we'll get one. Maybe next turn. Let's just revive or super potion Swampert. And we got a trainer battle. It's a freaking breeder, bro. This should be easy breezy. In fact, we could even set up the torch songs on this thing, but I think... Oh? Why are you bringing out Graveler? My... Oh my god, we still <laughs> did so much damage. What the hell? I mean, overheat... Is, it is pretty decent with Torch Song because it cancels out the special attacks that you raised. Like if you want to absolutely one-shot something, maybe? But Hyper Voice is good for grinding like when you double battles. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is it worth it? The overheat? Set up a couple Torch Songs and then if we want to one-shot something, just overheat on it. I think it might be. Not worth it. No. <laughs> All right. I'm just. I'm. I'm cooking too much. Let's not get it then. No, bro. I don't want it. I don't want it. Well, John Snow for you there. Okay. Are we faster than this thing? Maybe not. But we live. Dude, we are getting crazy experience. Like, it's not even funny at this point. I mean, it was never funny, but, you know, it's just kind of like OP, honestly. <laughs> Sadly for Garbodor, though, he's not getting any of it. We'll go to Latios, even though this thing... <laughs> How did I know? I don't know why I did that. I literally just had a million Torch songs. We could have just Flamethrowered. Or even... No, we don't have Flamethrower anymore, but we could have just Torch songed. I don't know why I did that. We literally just killed Latios for no reason. Bro, did I just kill my own run for no reason at all? Come on, Skeledurge. Come on. I should have gone Hyper Voice. Oh, never mind. We're fine. There was absolutely zero reason to freaking switch out right there, but whatever. All right, level 80 coming up. We definitely got to make sure to heal up as many as we can, including Latios, who I freaking let die for no reason whatsoever. But I don't know, man. Like, I don't want to go revive. Oh, I should have revived Garbodor earlier so he can Toxic Spikes up. 
I'm pretty sure it's a boss coming up though, so it's just a single Pokemon. The main thing I don't know is if my Torch songs still stay active. If they do, then we're probably fine. If they don't, then we're in for a rough time. But also, what happens if we Rare Candy our Latios? Does it get healed? Let's see. Wait, I use it on Garbodor. Oh my god, I'm stupid. It's okay, guys. It's just silent. Everybody chill. There is no way- Oh my god, he's got a Meowskarada. Now, we know this thing's have Dark type, so it could actually do some big damage. Also, we know that it's going to be faster. And it's got a ton of items. Look at this. Wait, I just realized something. My game is freaking cut off at the top. Why is it cut off now, dude? I literally fixed it earlier. Alright. HP up. Lumberry. Lepa Berry. And Citrus Berry. Oh my god. I mean, what else can we do but Torch Song right now? You know? Okay, we one-shot it at least. We have potential to just sweep through Silent. He does use Grass types actually, so... The only problem is we're so slow. But that's two down. Come on, Skeledurge. Whimsicott, that's definitely faster than us. But does it have anything super effective? Probably not. Oh, we live! Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, Skeledurge! Love that. Got a pet- really? <laughs> Why does this man have a pet -a At level 80. That's it? That's really it? Okay. And we get another shot or another chance to pick. Metropolis, lake, or grassy field. And it's gotcha time too. Oh my god. It's just everything is coming together right now, guys. Crazy. What should we uh, go for though? Grassy field would probably be the easiest for my team. No, actually Metropolis. There's like a bunch of poison electric types there. The mo art in the thumbnail takes me back. Hey. What's up, Moltern? I'm glad. Can bring you a little nostalgia today. Have you got the G-Max Pikachu yet? Bro, we gave up on Pikachu. <laughs> we got something better though. Don't worry, we got something better. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go... I mean, we can just keep sweeping with Skeledurge, but it's getting kind of boring, honestly. We, we gotta go Metropolis. Even though we already went Metropolis earlier. Oh my god, the Reva Broom! We can still sweep with Excadrill now, essentially. We just Swords Dance up. And just hit everything with Drill Run. You did! Yeah, definitely worth replacing Pikachu, bro. We got Latios. I was about to show you, but I forgot. What's up, Rachel? Recently traveled to Japan for the first time and your vlogs help plan. Oh, nice. I'm glad. We've actually been planning on making like a video about our itinerary, but we haven't gotten around to it, but we will do that at some point in the future. Oh, dude, we can buy Max Revise now. Yo. I want to take the Nugget though. Damn, of course she sends out a freaking Go-Go. Why would you do that, girl? Where did you end up going in Japan, Rachel? I think my favorite places were when we went to the mountain. I think it was called Koma. Now, what was it called? Huh? Koyasan. That was really fun. Also, Hokkaido. Hokkaido was really cool. I don't think I want Pain Split. Dude, we got so lucky with the items at the beginning that I feel like now the game's just saying, nah, you don't get anything else. I mean, I'll take the X speed, I guess. Go go, one of the most underrated Pokemon. 
I mean, I don't disagree, but I, I don't think I've used one ever on a team, personally. But I can see it. I can see the potential. Yo, if this doesn't... Pff, okay. Game is punishing you for skipping on the Pikachu. Dude, the thing is we still have a G-Max, but we have not gotten the G-Max band or the mus Mushrooms, so... Yo, Psy Shock for Latios? That's... that's crazy. I mean, actually, I, I didn't realize that Psy Shock does less than Psychic. But because it does physical damage, it can be a little bit... I mean, I don't... is Psy Shock actually better? Also, I just realized we have Dragon Dance, but all special moves. Why does this dude have Dragon Dance? I don't know, but I'm getting rid of it. Yo, we can we can reclaim our Raichu, guys. <laughs> or it just dies. Probably would have been better to get rid of Heal Palsy, right? But in double battles, you can heal your, your partner, right? <laughs> I've never understood Memento. You literally kill yourself to lower two of the opponent's stats that they don't like unless you're a mixed attacker like what how is that going to help in what situation is memento good seriously our rewards suck <laughs> oh my god squawkabilly what you know what let me try to catch this thing i heard someone say earlier squawkabilly there's like a good strategy with him only problem is, I'm freaking. There's nothing I can do damage. Oh my god, I gave it facade, bro. I literally just gave it facade. <laughs> Alright, he's going fly though. Super fly ladies. All of my super fly ladies. No! Why did I do that? I'm throwing. I'm throwing, man. <laughs> Wait, I can't escape. Oh my god, it's belly drumming. Oh my god. Please kill it. Get that thing out of here. I didn't mean to click run, obviously. I meant to click ball. Which I didn't even know that you could run. That's fine, though. Oh shoot, I didn't realize I- Oh my god, I could have took the nugget. I'm not throwing, but I'm definitely, like, not as locked in. Come on, we gotta lock in and make it to 100. We got five minutes to make it to level 100, guys. We're definitely not making it in time. But, uh, you, you know, who knows? Who knows? We are kind of, like, sweeping through these last couple floors. We're at the next boss already, so... Here we go. Now I still don't know if you actually keep your stat raises from Torch Song in the boss. I haven't been paying enough attention to know. I guess I'll go for the rare candy on Latios? No. Yeah, why the heck not? All these other rewards are not that good. Boss Rev of Room. Dude, this thing is about to get one shot. <laughs> you already know it does not stand a chance. Wabam. Might have been worth catching, but at this point, I'm just trying to get to 100, honestly. Oh, wait, we didn't even need a heal. I forgot the game was going to heal us. All right. Are we really out of the Metropolis already? Dude, Skeledurge kind of broken. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Thank you guys for the suggestion on Skeledurge. For sure, the best default starter. Even without its hidden ability, like, just Torch Song is OP. Yo, welcome back, Maractus. We still in here, bro. We're gonna hit 100 in my first time playing this game. Maybe I'm not as horrible at Pokemon as I thought. <laughs> like, I never knew Pokemon Showdown. So I thought I was really bad at this game, but... 
I guess I'm at least better than average, I would say. Um, let's go X speed. But honestly, it's just been Skeledurge carrying. And we got really lucky with the XP. Actually, I think this is probably the main reason why we made it to run 100. Like, we're hitting max level cap almost every single time. I'm gonna say that's probably the main reason why. Oh, I'm taking that X special attack. Easy. We got Muck out here. You're dead. What's up, Ace of Rivia? How you been? What's the stag party? I feel like I've heard that before, but I'm not sure. When you see EXP all, it's the number one pick. Wait, but these we've gotten from bosses. This one, though, for sure. This one has been, I feel like, what's been helping us the most. What is this? Adds an extra item option at the end of every battle. Oh, I didn't even notice. That's why we're getting more items. Alright, let me grab another X speed. Oh, it's rival time! You didn't forget about me again, did you? I, I'm not gonna say I forgot exactly, but... You've awoken something in me. I never knew was there. Seems like all I do now is train. I hardly even eat or sleep. I just train all day. In fact, I hardly recognize myself. And now I finally reach peak performance. And you know what? It's all because of you. I don't know whether to thank or hate you. Oh my god. What's up? Are you sure? Didn't you say to head out at 7? Oh, that's fine. I'm gonna be done in a, in a, I only have five more levels to go. Stag party is an Irish name for bachelor party. Oh! Nice! Congratulations to the one getting married. Alright, she got- What is that? Oh, it's terrestrialized! Okay! That's not great, because Excadrill is, of course, well, half ground type. I'm gonna go into Garbodor. Oh, she immediately. Oh my god. We're, we're doing this again, huh? Well, you know what? This is how we dealt with Talonflame last time. We just. Oh my god. Oh my god, no. What is she gonna go for? We have nothing to hit King Gambit with. In fact, we don't have any fighting type moves either. But you know what we could do is set up. Torch Song, but it has it's dark uh, it has dark type moves too. I think Swampert's our best bet. It's probably gonna switch back into Talonflame. So I'm thinking we go Amnesia Heat or sorry Surf. No, it goes Venusaur! Come on! Or she goes Venusaur, I mean. You know what I mean. Man, we're just doing the super switch strategies. It's fine. It's going solar beam, really? Alright, I'm just gonna set up the toxic spikes then. We can obviously tank a solar beam. We can even... Oh, never mind. Pain split! Alright, I'm gonna I'm set up... Wait, what did it go last time? Iron Head or something? Doesn't that mean Skeletor can take it? But then I'm scared of it going Night Slash or something and just one-shotting. Going back to Swampers still. Oh my god, we're taking a lot of chip damage though. Maybe we can go Amnesia and tank up... Venusaur. Oh, it actually got poison. Oh, because it's pure grass. Oh, no. It cured itself. Bro, if this thing doesn't go <laughs> solar beam right now, I'm going to be sad. I think it's going to go solar beam, though. Yup. So we're fine. We can tank that and go Skeledurge. Oh, my God. That still hurts so much. God damn. Let's go Will O Wisp. Ugh. No. That sucks. That really sucks. Uh, I'm getting a little stressed now, I'm not gonna lie, because it keeps doing a lot of chip damage to us. And now I think Swamper might be dead. Come on, man, stop it! Why are you doing this to me? At least it, it's still getting poison damage. We're getting some chip damage in too, actually, at this point. I'm going back to Garbodor. It might just die. Oh, the weak armor, let's go! You're lucky she doesn't set up sun. Yeah, that would have made a huge difference. 
with the chlorophyll too if it has it. Okay, there's the King Gambit again. This thing sucks, man. I don't want to deal with this. I think we're faster though, so we can pain split. And we got one shot. Oh my god, wait. Does this thing have the hidden ability? I'm going Excadrill. It might... She might switch into Talonflame here. But I'm still gonna risk it. Yep. Of course. Of course. Why wouldn't she? Uh... Maybe we go Latios? Oh my god, why did it go Steel Wing? What the hell? Alright, this is fine. Maybe we got the Paralysis? No? Okay. Is he gonna go Night Slash now? I mean, I think we stay. Oh, almost. Oh, the Paralysis! Let's go! Latios! Absolutely clutch! That was so lucky. Oh my god. Bro, that paralysis. Oh my god. That might have just saved us. Well, I think we still would have killed it, but you know. It certainly helped. It certainly helped. I don't know why you got a baby Gimi Ghoul on your team. Like, what? Not even Golden Go? Everything else just gets one shot. It's over with. It's done. And dusted. Gimme the Talon Flame! What is this? What? Okay. Oh, my heart. My heart can't take this anymore. <laughs> Guys, this is crazy. Like, I'm honestly so shocked that on my first run, I'm doing this well. Or not first run anymore, but first day playing this. I'm honestly kind of shook. We play in Pokemon out here, man. We are playing Pokemans. Okay, four more levels. We're almost there. Oh? Oh wait, this is not the G-Max Mushroom. Gosh dang it, man. Are there any moves that we need? That we forgot? Maybe Latios learns something? Recover! Wait, what is Luster Purge? Is it Luster Purge like OP? I have to, I have to look this up. Huh? What? Why? Oh my gosh, what happened? May lower special defense. Oh, but it does damage. 95 power. I mean, I think I'm still- I'm gonna grab that. Psychic is better than Luster Purge, really? How? Oh, because it has more PP, I guess? I mean, it's probably better than Psy Shock, though, right? Oh, I'm definitely gonna play more of this. Like, we gotta continue this run, too. Because I think the max level is 200. We're halfway there. As Bon Jovi once said, maybe? guys. We don't have any ghost types, do we? Oh yeah, wait, we have a uh, Skeledurge. I don't know if that's actually good on him, especially since we have Hex. Oh no, never mind. That's a physical move. I just wasted that, but whatever. This is it. Inflict 250 damage in one hit? What the hell? How did that muck even survive? Are you kidding me? I don't know how that muck just survived, dude. But this is it. One more level. One more level, guys. <sighs> we gotta revive Swampert. Wait, I need to heal up first. Skeledurge. Maybe we revive Garbodor for the toxic spikes, actually. Yeah. I think that was a good call. We we'll set up two of these. Dude, honestly, I forget that you can even catch things. Honestly, <laughs> I keep forgetting that that's a thing. Oh, we can pain split this too. Why the heck not? Okay, and now... It's time. 
We set up the torch song, which I still don't know if that carries over. But even if it does, that just means we're going to one-shot the boss and I'm going to forget to catch it again. And we got absolutely nothing. Alright, give me, give me 10 HP. Why not? Really? It's a boss war, madam? I'm disappointed. Wait, it has 30 though. What the? Oh. Oh, okay. Okay, war madam. <laughs> I guess. I guess we do catch it after all. But there's no way I'm adding that to the team. So what happens when you hit level 100, guys? You get another golden Pokeball, that's what. And another XP share, oh my gosh. As if we weren't getting enough XP already. Wait, we literally have it maxed out, we can't even get any more. Alright, oh no wait, is it this? Super XP charm? I think it was this. Or maybe EXP charm, I don't know, we're literally maxed out. But the truth is though, what happens when you hit level 100? Is the stream ends. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned, follow my Twitch, subscribe on YouTube just so you can know whenever I do go live again. Because this game is very fun and I gotta, I gotta hit level 200 now, dude. Like imagine I actually win on my third try ever. This run ain't over. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can save, right? If I log out, no, return to title, you will lose any progress since the beginning of the battle. Oh, okay. So yeah, it saved my game. All right. <sighs> that was fun. See you guys next time.